What about now? Oops. I knew I should never turn the... <laughs> Why on. would you do that? I'm trying to like conserve electricity. I'm turning all the shit off before <laughs> I went to bed. Well, we just told you a whole story that now you're never going to know what yeah. happened. Let's see if they can... Okay. Ah, okay. Now it's fine. We good? Ah, yeah. I swear it has. Mm. Anyway. Start what, again. So, <laughs> okay. damn it. Well, we have practice now. We'll be better this time. <laughs> Yo, Gig. Gigliato was What's in the up? chat yesterday. Ah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Me too. <laughs> and um, hi, Redlocks. Hi, Redlocks. What's up? Thanks for letting us know we didn't have sound. That could have been yeah. a very embarrassing hour or two. <laughs> Woohoo! Sexy couple. Sexy couple. <laughs> you think so? Well, thank you. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. As I was saying, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, and everyone in between, Nicola Yaspi. Well, you kind of got nervous there. Me? Because you said Nicole. All right, because the whole speech... Start again. Because the, whole s because the whole speech that we gave while the, the <laughs> microphone wasn't on was... took me a while to learn how to say Nicole. Because Nicole, in, yeah. Yeah, because in Australia, <laughs> it's Nicole. Yeah. And then in Portuguese, it's Nicole. Mm -hmm. You know, you sound it all out phonetically. <laughs> so, like... It feels weird to be called Nicole. Yeah, no know? one calls you Nicole. In Australia, they call you Nicole? Who? Anyone. Like, you, did you tell someone to call you Nikki? No, they don't call me Nikki. <laughs> it's easier. They all call you Kitty. <laughs> <laughs> all, right. all right, so, um, what's up, Philippe? What's up? So, yeah, so anyway, this is my wife. Uh, we've been getting now like four <laughs> years, right? Yeah. Right, married four years or? Three years. Married three years, yeah, together four years. You know, you've seen on the channel maybe once or twice before, but as you know, I've been posting much the last couple of years or so. So, it's a reintroduction. Here we are boom, with boom. our fruit, fruit platter Hell prepared yeah. by me. Yep. Well cut. <laughs> Great stuff. No sound again? Are you fucking serious? Maybe he's uh, late in the life. Ah. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe he's not caught up. Give it a minute, bro. We were just playing at the start, just fucking witches. Mm, JC's coming. Now Dexter. Yeah, Dexter. Come on, dude. So, have we got sound or not? Someone tell us what's going on here. Thank you for now everything. You're good. Thanks, homie. Now we're good. Cool. Yo, it's our pleasure. You know, we love to spread a message of peace, love, respect, and positivity. Right? Mm hmm. Yeah, man. So, our pleasure. Um, what's up, Nathan? What's up? What's up? What's up? It's Ma JC. Oh, yeah. I love to see the plants when people <laughs> are saying what's up, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's cool. That's That means that's our people. Come here. Who we got here? Come here, JC. He's coming up. He's coming soon. JC is our... In the house. He in the house for sure. <laughs> when JC in the house, everybody in the house know JC in the house. Yeah. He's very loud. He's especially in the mornings. JJ's. There. Wants to go outside, man. <laughs> yeah, so um anyway guys, boom, we live streaming again. And um what time it is where people are. Yeah, where I is that? Know. Where is that? Um we wanted to get on, hang out with you guys and react to a couple of videos. Hilarious videos. JC want to react to. <laughs> so, um, but also if you guys have any requests for us, anything you want to want to um, see us react to, any videos you want to watch together, let us know, and yeah. we would love to. Your work is very inspirational. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. It's um, I mean, it has to be done. You know, it's a hectic job thinking about animal cruelty so often. You know, but um, it is inspirational because. The impact it can have is so major, you know. It's like, you know, the people, the everything that helped me go vegan, like the speech and the video and all this. I'm so grateful for it, for how much it inspired me to make the best change ever in my life. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and now it's just all about paying it forward and getting as many people on board as possible with not buying food from slaughterhouses. You think it would be an easy job, but it's not. We wouldn't be on social media if it wasn't for that because we're not very much into it. <laughs> yeah. We, we, um, 
we have other things we would prefer to do with our time. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, we, we really love it because it's a great way to spread the message. For sure. But so if it wasn't for that, there's not much point for us. Exactly. Um, Boris said, I can hear you. Yes. <laughs> All right. We in business. Because this is just my third live stream. So bear with me, people. Yesterday, I had a beat playing. What's up, JC? Come say hi to everyone. Come in. Yay. JC's Yay, on stream. Famous cat. Meow. You who? Don't send <laughs> on that stuff. You type. <laughs> yeah, if you want to type you guys a message. Come here, come. What was I going to say to Sam? Um, about live streaming, maybe? Yesterday, I did a live stream okay. with Vegan Gains, and um, I had a beat playing in my headphones just because that's how I like to do interviews or whatever. I have a beat going, you know, not that the interviewer knows. But I just like hearing a beat all the time. It just makes it a bit more fun and interesting. So I thought I was doing that yesterday. And then I realized, no, everybody in the stream could hear it. And it was very loud and annoying, apparently. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. You know how it is. Just first time for everything. And I'm learning. Hey, Alison. Yo, Alison, what's up? Giuliardo said that you were a big part of him going vegan. Me too. Hell yeah. I went vegan after Giuliardo. watching. Giuliardo. After watching the um, vow silence, uh, breaking the vow silence was like a big inspiration for me. You know, you know this sexy you, face. You do the vow silence, you get the Brazilian I, wife. I was there surfing the web, and then I see this sexy face, and he had a message. I was like, "Whoa, that's the message." A handsome face plus a message yeah. is a recipe for trouble. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, well, Gigliardo, that is um, epic, dude. Tell me what it was of mine, like how I was a big part of you going vegan six years ago. It's pretty amazing, bro, six years deep now. I'm 10 years deep now, and it's one thing to be vegan for 10 years. Turn down time a little bit. One thing to be vegan for 10 years, but when I'm reading stuff like this now, you know, James, I've been vegan from something you did for six years that's cool, man. I love to hear it. Because I've got some people that ha are ex-vegan after going vegan from my stuff. It like happened. people that were close to me. And um, I'm <laughs> disgusted with them. I want them all to know. <laughs> but um, <laughs> but the ones that are sticking on it, you know, six years, eight years I've been getting. And I love to hear it. So keep up that amazing work. Gigliardo. Oh, you liked the beat. You like the beat. Yeah. I'm loving this beat. I've listened to the beat for hours. I just heard it. I just got onto it like a week or two ago. And um, boom, that's that. What are, what are we up to these days in terms of activism? I'm working on raps. I'm working on a, a whole album, dude. So I'm working on like pretty ruthless animal rights raps. And um, We've been to the... We've been to the sanctuary where they rescue the buffaloes. Oh, last, last year we've been there. Yeah, end of last year there. Yeah, and it was like so beautiful to be there close to the animals and helping them um, get more donations. Mm. And I really want to go there soon again because now they are finally in the sanctuary and living their best lives. So yeah. it would be beautiful to see them living there in a place where it's just good vibes you know it has nothing to do with what happened to them yeah. in the past they're not reminded by yeah. all the hell that also took place all around them yeah for sure it's gonna be fun they're so lucky all them thousand buffaloes that was some historic shit mm -hmm. um corey delgado what's up man said you and vegan gains are the first people i found that convinced me to go vegan seven years ago i'll never go back Beautiful. And more vegan gains, bro. That's epic. Did you see our live stream last night? Me and vegan gains had a three hour chat and then an hour chat after that as well. Which I almost here's another example. <laughs> here's another example of me being a brand new live streamer yeah. as of like a day or two ago. Um me and vegan gains had a chat for like three hours. And then during it, something got brought up that I didn't want to mention to him in front of everybody. I'm like, no, nah, I'll just I'll speak to him privately about this. So I, we finished our stream and I pressed stop recording 
but I didn't press stop streaming. So I'm like, stop recording. Ah, uh, yeah. Anyway, bro, I really want to actually ask you something, you know, like something got brought up that I didn't want to ask on the stream. And then he's like, are you still streaming? And I said, nah, man, I'm, I'm, I pressed stop. <laughs> and then you came in and were like, you're still streaming. I came so fast, like bro, I was in the other bedroom. I was like, uh, you didn't finish your stream. <laughs> I'm so glad that I did not fuck that up any worse than I did. Um, I oh, like the beat. The beat, that's cool. You thought it was intentional. What, you mean you thought it was intentional? Nah, the beat was intentional, but for me, not for all you guys. And I thought after that, oh, maybe it would be good if everyone's listening to a beat. But the problem I realized with that is if, you know when people, or I don't know about you guys, but me, I watch most YouTube videos at least 1.5 times speed or two. Unless it's something I'm going to find really entertaining and want to just slowly enjoy it. Um, like a vegan gains debate, although usually I do speed them up too, but you know what I mean. So anyway, I um, if you put music on the back of your on the back of your live stream and record it and then upload later, when people go to two times it, it's two and a half time two, two times speed the beat, which doesn't sound good anymore. So no one's going to watch it like that. So probably overall, it's not the best idea, unfortunately. But yeah. All right, what, what else have we got here? Your street activism influenced me. Hearing people give the same excuses I did made me change. Yeah, that's, um, <laughs> that's good. You know, it's pretty hilarious yeah. when peop they, people fuck their confident, aren't they? They're like, mm -hmm. no, nah, but plants have sentience. And it's like, I bet you've never spent one full minute learning about plant sentience. You know, you don't know shit about, what are you talking about? And it's not a thing. And, you know, people are just, oh shit, I dropped my apple on the floor. I'm still going to eat it because we <laughs> clean this floor today. Um, plant sentience. Yeah, like people are just so confident in their shit. And it's, it's you know, they've got nothing. The, the process of every vegan debate is they make a point, then you refute it flawlessly. And then instead of going, you got me there. Hmm, okay, all right, you win that one. Well, what about this? Instead, they just go, they just skip all of that and go straight to the next point. Yeah. As if you never won anything and it was never conceded and um, they didn't say anything stupid. You just got distracted and detoured to something else. Happens every fucking time. And, um, you know, but you can, when you're watching a video, like the pressure's off you, you watch it and you're like, these people look stupid defending animal abuse. <laughs> really stupid. Yeah. What's this cat meowing about? So um, I, I'm stoked to hear it, man. Yeah, street activism's a really interest. It's also really interesting footage. You never know what's going to happen. It's live on the streets, so anything could happen as long as it gets pretty crazy. Uh, so yeah, yeah. <coughs> uh, let's explain about this because um, if it doesn't work. <laughs> Oh, true. Yeah, yeah, we're testing it. All right, so this tips thing, we were saying, you know, I watch James, uh, I watch James Aspie's, I watch James Aspie's live sometimes. <laughs> I watch Vegan Gaines' live sometimes and he does a text-to-speech thing where if you donate a certain amount on us, we've got 420 right now because blaze it. And um, then it like, re it's supposed to read your comment out for everyone, right? I don't know if this is going to uh -huh, work. Yeah. Yeah. All right, but anyway. Ooh, we had to test. Ooh, so test. if it doesn't work the first Ooh, time, test. don't be angry at all. Yeah, don't blame us. Blame the <laughs> software. Um, Scar looks to turn me vegetarian in July 2018 when I watched a music video where it showed a pig getting killed. Later, I went vegan in August 18 when I watched Earthling Ed and others. Philip. I'm saying Philip or Philippe. Spell it out for me, bro. Philippe, you reckon? I think. I don't know. Cool. Um, all right. So what kind of music is that? I never heard of them before. But yeah, dude, that's all it takes, you know? Like most of us have never seen a slaughter in our lives. We just go to the supermarket and buy the food. Never have seen an animal be slaughtered. Like I don't think I had in my whole life. And the first time I watched it, I didn't actually care because I thought that you needed to eat animals to be healthy. But then later I learned you don't. And then I watched Slaughter and was like, we're slaughtering for... In adding ingredients to our food this is nuts um 
So yeah, I'll have to check that music out. Music is so powerful. Like I'm writing music now and I can see I'm expressing all of this in a way I never have before and it's it's golden. Because now it's art, you know. Yeah, it's art. It rhymes. It's interesting. There's a beat to it and it can just flow in all different directions. A speech has to like carry a certain format mm -hmm. where music can just take you from one thing to another. It's golden. Everybody start writing raps. Thanks. Giliardo for the tip. Oh, thanks, brother. Mm -hmm. Where does it show we got a tip? It show, but the sound is not, not showing. There was no sound. Yeah. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. <laughs> yeah. Look, notification of payment received. It works. Thanks, bro. <laughs> Appreciate Thank you. Thank you. Um, <laughs> all right. So, sooner or later, we will get to these, um, these vids. But first, let's go through all this. Yeah. All right. So... Where are we at here? I remember the f this is Allison. Sup, Allison? You want to read it? Bottom I remember one. the first time I watched Piggy's Chamber footage. I was so angry and sad. I had never felt like that before. It was like the world I once knew was crumbling around me. It was never the same. Yeah, it's it's just, like that. It's just so shocking to like realize that these things happen in this world. S and like happen legally yeah and in so everywhere. many places yeah. like and the um the number i mean like eight billion a day eight yeah. billion slaughters a day including sea animals which i don't know why people don't sometimes but yeah billions of animals every day slaughtered like how do you even comprehend how much that is every yeah single second this is planet slaughterhouse it's nuts the longer you're vegan too personally maybe you guys are different but i got less and less patience for all this bullshit you know i'm like i'm i feel i'm fairly angry as in not like very angry but like a fair the the fair amount of anger i should have towards this messed up world and the situation and the cruelty and all the people who defend it especially them you know it's yeah it's like a pretty intense enlightenment a pretty intense awakening a bittersweet enlightenment wouldn't you say yeah uh, i just think it's crazy that then you know you learn about these things and you tell people and they don't react they're like oh yeah but i love to eat meat i can't see myself without eating meat and end up like that you know for so many people yeah it's always it. it's like Look at all this murder that happens for bacon. True, but bacon's yummy. Yeah. It's like cool, but murder, you know? <laughs> uh, murder? Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, Friday night. Let's try not to get too dark. What's Te this? Text to speech. I'm, oh, gig Gigliado. Okay, I'm going to, I'm Gigliado, aka Gig. I am a very famous, I am very famous in the vegan gains community. Gigliato rhymes with Giggly Smarto. Whoa! This guy is a rapper. He's a vegan games fan. He's famous in the community. Awesome. His name's Gigliato. That's so cool. I like this guy a lot. <laughs> Thanks for the tip, bro. And he's a big tipper. What yeah, but the speech didn't go. Why didn't the speech work here? <laughs> Someone teach us. Fuck. Someone called Vegan Gains. This is where I learned this move from. <laughs> what does this button do? Nothing. All right, whatever. So, damn, but now we're false advertising. Yeah, we are. Because we're like text-to-speech. But, yeah, there, there. Hold up, guys. Hold up, nah, what? Right-click on that and go to properties. Properties? Yeah, yeah. Mm, no. No, nah, I'm tripping. Not that. Let's stop false advertising then. All right. <laughs> Just tips for now. Sorry about that. So it says, yeah, just write it again without Texas. How the fuck do we get it working, but I thought we had that under control. Next time. It's a little hard, guys, because we were already an hour late, you know, so we were like, let's just do it. We'll figure it out as we go. As you can see, that's exactly what's happening right now. Oh, uh, yeah. Delete them. Oh, about it. Oh, maybe a good thing to delete them, actually. No, it's fine. Um, anyway, tell us where you guys are at. Gigliato, where you at? Tell us where the rest of you guys are living right now. 
and what is and it what doing? Time is it? Yeah, like is it Friday night? It's Friday night for us here mm-hmm. in Australia. I think it's morning now. You know, last weekend we went to a rave, so this weekend we chilly. <laughs> yeah, because you know you gotta chill a while after the rave. It's very intense. You need to rest the body and mind. It's a lot of jumping. <laughs> it's we as many hours of bouncing and bouncing. <laughs> Um, you should be able to pin that text to speech yeah, comment to the top. Did we did do that. Thanks for that real thing. We appreciate the tips. Yeah. Exactly what we need. Uh, the excuses will finally run out like in the tobacco industry. So keep going. Phil said. Phil is right. Yeah. They will run out of excuses. And, you know, hopefully what I don't like the idea of is cell based meat <laughs> coming and replacing other flesh all the flesh and then everybody just eating it but not acknowledging the holocaust that they were contributing to and not understanding the speciesism behind it all you know what i mean i hope i hope we don't skip that bit and just start eating the meat like sure it would be good but people need to understand what the fuck they've been doing totally totally Mm. needs to understand that like it's not okay to abuse animals in any situation exactly they're not our slaves yeah Oh, sick donation notification. Allison <laughs> is respecting. <laughs> we, as soon as we saw it, we looked for like two seconds, saw that, and we didn't need to look anymore. <laughs> that is sick. And amazing vegan just tipped ah, our 20. Amazing vegan. Respect on the Thank tip. You. Thank you so much. Hi, James. How is your chronic pain condition? Are you completely recovered now? If so, what do you think fixed it? Hope you're well now. You are the most inspiring animal activist to me with your vow of silence Aww. and your sincerity. Thank you. Love you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate it. I love you too. Beautiful. You're a legend. Um, how is my chronic pain situation? It's been one hell of a ride for us for both. For both of us. Poor Nikki. She didn't know she was marrying such a broken man. Aww. I love this man. He no, he's not <laughs> broken. He's just recovering. He's evolving. <laughs> uh, this has been a long road of recovery. <laughs> I am feeling great today and yesterday for the first days in months, really. Um, I had a bad... How long have it been? Like, am I right? Yeah. It's cause sometimes hard to keep track, but I was good for a few months towards yeah. towards like the end of last year, right? Okay, let me try to tell you. I was good for a few months. Like, I've been working, 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 and then the severity of it got, you know, compared to how it was when it was severe, I'm I'm 99% better. But, um, yeah, it flares up, and sometimes a flare-up lasts for, like, three weeks. And then I'm scared to go to the gym, and I don't want to do anything. Um, I just try to do some yoga and stuff. And then I'm like, all right, I think I'm good. So today was that day for me, actually, where I... I've been pretty good since the rave. Rave is good for me, jumping up and down and moving my body a lot mm-hmm. and that. I always feel like a bit sore after it, but in a good way, not like what is wrong with my broken spine kind of way. And also, yeah. the rave is good for... Wait. Yeah. Medium apple here. <laughs> to um, free the mind, you know, mm. a little bit. It's true, yeah. To relax the mind. Yeah, yeah, it is. And like, it's just good vibes, you know. Mm-hmm so good vibes all that it's it helps because a lot of it i think is stress related um but yeah so how is it it's i'm still on a bit of a journey with it um but i feel good today and it's actually very rare that i can say that and that's that's why it's like hard to you know with this live streaming thing that i've been wanting to get going for a while but it's hard to be like all right i'm gonna get into live streaming because most of the time the last thing I feel like doing is sitting up in a chair like this and doing anything. Yeah. You know, usually if I was in my pain, I'd be like, mm, you know, crack and yeah. move and stretch and just like, I'm too agitated to mm-hmm. stick to this. Like, I can't do this. Or just rolling. <laughs> yeah, just like stretching and rolling on yeah. the PVC pipe and on the hard balls and stuff. So it's a pretty, it's a, it's been fucking shit as, like, it's been hell. But I've definitely come so far. I'm heaps better. Um, I'm sleeping heaps better now for years. I was sleeping very badly. Like, yeah, it was a real hectic journey. But um, no, I've learned a lot through it. I've, I've fixed a lot of my posture through it as well. I had really bad posture that I think was also part of it. And um, I'm less stressed and I'm, I'm feeling good, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm yeah. feeling good most the of the time. The less sometimes. weeks you are, much yeah. better. Yeah, and like it just seems to be getting longer in between when it's really bad. You know, like when it got bad again, I was like, fuck. But this physio that has been helping me, he's like, yeah, expect that. It's enough. Getting out of chronic pain doesn't just, it's over and it's gone. It goes and then something, whatever happens, and then it's back for a bit. And you just got to accept that. But as long as it's getting further and further away each time, and that's what I'm, I'm noticing. So so what fixed it was breathing deep. Like I was in fight or fight, fight or flight. I was in fight or fight mode. <laughs> fight or fight. <laughs> I was yeah. just fight or fight mode um, for a long time. You know, I've been debating animal rights every day, whether in person or online, always and through most nights for a decade and you know yeah it is what it is like it's been uh, it's been uh, it's been fucking stressful but um i have just relaxed you know i've i've taken some time away from the things that were stressing me and i have been thinking about things differently and breathing more and going to raves and enjoying myself and laughing and yeah. you know and then focusing on the mechanical stuff as well i've been reading books on back pain and a lot of it is chronic pain is internalized rage so makes sense because i will have to agree that i do have some of that <laughs> <laughs> just a little anyway um what else we got here our sick donation feature it looks wicked eh? <laughs> bad loader <laughs> Whoa, Barbara, I'm loving Why haven't I been streaming okay. sooner getting to read all these amazing comments by everybody? Barbara, James, I am eight years vegan and you're absolutely the person who got me to open my eyes. Now my husband and daughters are yeah, vegan. That's awesome. Boom. Boom. Respect. <laughs> that is epic. Eight years, see? That's the, that's the record so far. Eight years. I mean, you know, in this chat. Yeah. I, I love to hear it, Barbara. I completed eight years vegan in February. You did? Yeah, because I started in 2016, mm. February. Oh, yeah. I don't have an exact date, mm. but yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I was thinking it was seven for some of you, but it was seven for a while there. Yeah. All right. Um, perfectly timed dono sound. It must have been like a, we said something and then it went bing. Or whatever the fuck the sound does. So it's it's doing sounds. Oh, there was sound okay. Us. Maybe it's doing sounds. It has text to speech. Has sound. Oh, is it doing that, guys? Can you just tell us if the it's speaking? It's like reading it out, reading out the four twenty donations. Let us know, <laughs> <laughs> and it goes bing or something, <laughs> ching, whatever it does. I don't know. Anyway, we appreciate it so much. You left vegan... Oh, wait, let me... I'll get to that in a sec. Perfect time to do sound. Smash that like button. Yeah, peeps, thanks. Be treasure... Be treasure? Be treasure. Be treasure. Okay, I wouldn't know how to say it, but maybe you can spell it out for us. I left vegan games... Vegan games stream for you. Uh-oh. I left vegan... Vegan, <laughs> vegan games is going to be pissed. <laughs> Go back. Before he gets angry and crushes us. <laughs> he might challenge me to a cage fight and I'm not prepared. No, I just had to do my strings together. Fully, Easy yeah. fix. All right, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. Nah, no, thanks though. Thanks. That's that's a big call to leave Vegan Gains stream for this one. Vegan Gains is a stream master. <laughs> um, all right, what else we got here? Yeah, bacon though. I'm listening. Where did I go? Um, damn, what the hell? Where are all these comments come from? <laughs> There's so many. Sorry, guys, we're heaps behind. I didn't realize. Yeah, we are. All right, let's speed this shit up. I'm listening to both of yours and Vegan Games stream right now. Whoa, <laughs> that's epic. That's how you do it. You listen to both of our streams. Let's react to his live stream. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> let's do it. That's a mad idea. Whatever he's doing, we're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> go. All right. Um, I didn't left vegan game stream for you. I use both tabs open. This is a real activist fan, you know. <laughs> this is someone who, who knows how to appreciate vegans. <laughs> we appreciate you, Zell. XL. Ah, ten XL. people saying the 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 times ten thirty three three thirty three a.m. Whoa. Oh wow. Ten thirty three eight thirty 
11.33. Why are you awake at 3.33, the real thing? What are you doing up so late? <laughs> Come on, go to bed. It's the streaming time, baby. Ah, you're just here for the streams. Yeah. Are you in bed just like, I should <laughs> sleep, but nah. You know, with the phone, like, so your, your missus doesn't catch the light <laughs> and be like, what are you doing just watching shit? It's 3.33. Maybe they're both watching. Ah, <laughs> oh, true, true. Volume is low. If you raise mic input, you won't have to talk okay, close to it. Okay, let's, let's do this. All right, this is... No, 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 it ain't going to be it's there. It's here. It is? Yeah. Oh, yeah, no, you're right. Uh, you didn't no, do not this that yesterday? One. I did, but I don't know if it... Oh, no, it's filters. Um, try that. No. No, no maybe no. the other one. No, let's hmm. do this. Yeah, but It's where? not? No, it's not there. Uh, but I think it is this one. Yeah, we're talking, you see? It's this one. Yeah, proper use. Yeah. Yeah, but not that one. Sorry, guys. No, I'm the computer specialist here. Okay? All right, let me see if you it's actually know um, what you're doing. Compressor. Okay. Whoa. Game. How did you know to do that? I told you to do yesterday. No, not that much. That's going to ah, be crazy. Sorry. Like this? Yeah, probably like. How are we sounding? How's that? Go Let's down see. to the bottom of the comments. That way. Close. Yeah. You should have left it open Filter. so that we can change it if we need to. All right, we sound, does this sound good now? How are Tell we us sounding? if we sound pretty. That's, That's good. good. Okay. Allison, thanks, respect for helping us with that. All right, boom, now we sound good. Now we sound louder. good. Louder. They want it louder. Louder, okay. All right. That one, yeah. This one? Yeah. Output gain. Boom. How about now? How about this, mate? <laughs> It's good. Sounds good to me. Says Cora Coralie. 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 Cool name. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. All right. Well, crisp and good. Everybody's saying good. Crisp. I love. All right. I'm going back back in time to the old, the old. Yeah, the time. The time stamps there. Go back. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Oh. So volume is low. Oh yeah. Thanks for the tip. Um, there. I hope. You sniped Aspie from Vegan Gains stream. Vegan Gains is my inspo, guys. Let's not leave his stream, all right? Doesn't seem right. Ah, there's you know? a question here. Felix, have you noticed any difference about how veganism is embracing Brazil compared to elsewhere? Yeah, you suck. You're from here. Ah, me? Yeah. Uh, how veganism is embraced... I don't know. I think when I left Brazil, which was in 2019, it was a different Brazil in terms of veganism. Now there's so many more brands and restaurants, you know, vegan options, much, much more than when I left, you know, like cheese, vegan cheese, vegan lasagnas. Now you can go in the supermarket and get vegan lasagna, pizza, burgers, um, kiwi, all kinds of products, you know, there's a whole fridge session mm. for vegan products, which when I left, there was like none. I don't even remember having anything, you know, really? it, was, it was painful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what about how the people feel about it? You know, like the general feeling. I, I think uh, my, many more people know what it is, uh, but I still have a lot of people that um, either or they don't know, or they are like, oh, we are so having the barbecue culture that we don't even care or like don't want to hear about that, you know? Yeah, yeah. And here also the Same road like use everywhere. culture is very strong, you know, huge parties every, mm. every winter. And yeah, it's, it's very heavy in barbecue. Yeah. So I think in other countries, for example, I lived in Italy, um, there they were much more like plant-based than here, you know, they were much more like, oh, let's have a meal without any meat mm -hmm. many times. They're still eating a lot of cheese, but much less meat than here in Brazil. It's very popular in Brazil for the families to get together every weekend and they just barbecue, have meat on the barbie the whole weekend. The right? whole, yeah, the whole day uh, with meat in the barbecue and eating and drinking, you know, it's yeah. always big parties. And they like buy the nice cuts of meat, nice yeah, cuts yeah. of meat, you know, it's a whole party around the meat mm -hmm. and the beers. <laughs> yeah. All right. 
yeah, but progress is happening. You know, we just sure. we've been living in this city we at for like a year. We just found a part of it that we hadn't known before, and we're just walking. Oh, check this place out. It's nice. It's good. And then there was this huge wall mm. with a vegan whole vegan mural on it. Yeah, it's an like, it's an it's artist. Town? It's an artist that has a sanctuary, uh, Animal Saint. And yeah, she did this beautiful wall, graffiti art, you know. Not graffiti, but yeah. art on the wall. So cool. And there were some vegan options that we couldn't try because the restaurant was closed. But next time. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, have you noticed any difference about how veganism... Oh, sorry. We already read that. Vegan gains often about random stuff and not much about veganism. Get more views from Karnas and Hater that want rage stuff. Smart for money, but bad for veganism. Mm. Yeah, maybe, you know, who knows? Like, he gets invited to a lot of stuff now that has nothing to do with veganism, like these kick or keep streams. And that's pretty smart. And then people will see that he's got base views and people start respecting veganism more because this legend is getting around the circles that aren't even vegan. So it definitely has its place. It's doing a good job there. But um, I hear what you're saying. If you're in the mood to hear some vegans talk shit about meat eaters, <laughs> you come to the right place. Um, oh, they said that in long term, it's good because more kind of exposed. Exactly. That's, what, that's our thoughts too. Did your voice change when you stopped talking for a year? Yeah, it did. It was, um, I mean, as soon as I started speaking, I could hear that it was different. And it was just sort of like, less powerful you know it was a bit soft and just was I also felt it was weird to be speaking because I felt like I was doing the wrong thing because every day for a year I'd been like don't speak don't speak don't speak and then when I spoke I was like am I am I really gonna speak now is it all right I'm just gonna start quietly you know in case I'm fucking something up here but um yeah it changed it changed for a while and another thing I noticed this is like the main thing I noticed from the actual vow of silence part of the journey, you know, something different with me that the vow of silence created is because I was still communicating, but it was a lot more work because there was no sound. So to communicate, I have to write things down or use body language or try to like mount mime it with my mouth or whatever. And it was a lot more work. People have to really focus on new. <laughs> so what I started doing was, before I'd make the effort of expressing what I was trying to express, I would go to this other little area of my mind first, like, and process what I was saying and try to simplify it. And then it would make my job and the person receiving the message's job easier. I didn't notice until I started speaking again. And then I was speaking and I was, I was like, what did, what's this other part of the process now? Mm. And my brain was doing this extra job of like filter it and then bring it out of my mouth. And yeah, it was very noticeable for a while there. I was That's like, so what's trippy. going on? <laughs> yeah, I didn't notice until I started talking. And I'm like, oh, something's different here. This is new. That's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> now I don't think at all. I just go blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it did change a little bit. Oh, and you know, and then my, my volume and stuff came back and got normal and that pretty soon and then i guess i sounded pretty much as similar dream thread said mr mr asper you are a fucking legend man Mm -hmm. i've seen many of your lectures on youtube you and dominion are what convinced me to go vegan from vegetarian back in 2020 whoa you and dominion boom that's big time yeah i appreciate you letting me know that dude thanks a lot and yeah as far as documentaries to watch dominion if you don't change after watching Dominion, yeah. then your next step should be mental health specialist yeah. and strong meds until they fix whatever is broken with you. Yeah, there's no excuse after watching Dominion. Like, yeah, it's fucking bad. If you are okay with that, you are insane. Yeah, insane. sorry, but you're crazy. Fuck. Yeah. Um, de onde a wife é no Brasil? Sim, minha esposa é brasileira. De onde? Gianzi. Oh, where? Yeah. Oh, where's my wife from in Brazil? <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I lived most of my life in Campinas, Sao Paulo. It's like one hour, two hours from Sao Paulo. It's a, a big city, but not as big as Sao Paulo. Yeah. Cool. 
So we have a Portuguese speaker in the house. Are you from Brazil? Chuck, Chuckies? Mm. <laughs> I don't think Aspie's forearm lacks protein. No, <laughs> it doesn't lack protein. It's juicy. <laughs> Thanks for your activism. Jains are chanting in your honor. Ah, the Jains, you know yes. that religion? No. I think you'd call it a religion. Mm. It's like... They don't, they don't, they're careful where they walk so they don't step on ants. It's like the most vegan religion. Beautiful. Yeah, I don't know where, exactly mm. where it's from. Maybe like, yeah, I don't know. Mm. Tip Tibet vibes, I think. Um, but yeah, well, I'm chanting right back at them for what they're doing too because they definitely have the right idea. <laughs> yeah, look, they said lowest possible suffering toward all sentient beings Beautiful. equals to him, so we're with it. Seems yeah. like my comments are unfairly censored here. Howling Moon Cinemas. No, no, no. I saw your other comment earlier. Sorry, we we're in the process of r responding to one of the super chats. But um, I see this comment and I saw your last one. So I don't know about everyone else, bro, but I'm seeing you. Are you seeing? I'm not sure if I know my Nikki. I don't know. They didn't notice me. Howling Moon Cinemas is like, what's going on? Why uh -huh. no one answering me? Sorry, bro. We we're going to answer. We're answering right now. <laughs> are you guys living in Oslo, Brazil? Brazil. Brazil, zil, zil. And we never leaving. <laughs> That's not true. I'm never leaving. I want to live in Australia at some point. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you take CBD oil? Not right now, mm. actually. We Last time we took CBD oil was like a year ago, eh? About that, six months a year. Yeah, because in Bali we couldn't. Yeah, too and sketchy. And here you took for a while and then... I took like one or two bottles. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the brand we... I needed something a little heavier than CBD oil yeah, at the but time. Yeah, I, I, I would like to, but the brand we promote, uh, I don't know if it's easy to bring to here because um, here you have to have a prescription and the doctor will prescribe exactly the CBD that, you know, that they prescribe, the brand they prescribe. You can get it... Um, Animal liberation now. Thanks for the tip. I'll read it in one sec. You can get it prescribed pretty easy and you can get um, THC prescribed here mm -hmm. as well. But everything else is illegal. Mm -hmm. All right. Animal liberation now tipped $1.11. And one, one mm -hmm. James, having struggle with censorship on social media, especially YouTube, post vids but taken down... Even though it's mild, trying to advocate for animals in comments, it's corrupt against vegans. Can't talk about animal ag without comments deleted. My account treated worse. It happens, mate. It's legit. It's real. Um, for whatever reason, you know, I mean, usually we're talking about pretty gnarly stuff and showing pretty gnarly stuff. So, you know, there's many ways to share the message that won't get you censored, like cooking vegan meals and the lifestyle side of things but yeah it's it's hard because you really want to share the most powerful stuff like i have this dilemma all the time you want to share the most powerful stuff but then that's you should see how many restrictions i have on my instagram like many i'm i i lost my account temporarily completely the other about a month ago I was like, oh, okay, it finally happened. I, I can't go back on my Instagram now. And then luckily we got it back. But, um, you know, that's the dance of like trying to get the message out there and share the victim's stories in the most powerful way possible without getting blocked. And same with how I talk to people online. I'm just brutally honest now and <laughs> Instagram... Instagram don't like a lot of the things I got to say about shit. So yeah, unfortunately you just got to play the game and yeah. you know, you got to just roll. It's at least we've got what we've got. Cool. It would be better if we could just be right out there with everything, but we definitely can't and we will get censored. So just knowing that you should work within the guidelines so that you don't lose your opportunity. You know, it's still a really, really good opportunity. Even if you have to, water it down a little bit i really hope uh soon we can move past instagram and and have a better social media you know something more 
um, less less commercial, less focus on money, and more focus in the community. You know, mm. people getting together and discussing topics. I even once I was so revolted, revolted yeah, with Instagram yes. that I decided to talk to ChatGPT, and together we created a better social media. <laughs> Coming soon. <laughs> it was so cool. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Did you have a name for it? Mm, I think so. Mm. Yeah. Uh, hello from Phoenix, Arizona. Love you guys, Cindy. Right Love back you at too, you, Cindy. Allison, I can relate. James, sometimes it feels like it's a PTSD flashback when I get the same pain. Yeah, it's exactly like that. It's extreme. It, as soon as it, you feel it, you're like <gasps> extreme stress. Oh no, I'm in this pain again. How long is this pain gonna last? And then three months later, it's like it's still here. Like, kill me. It's fucking bad. <laughs> Um, if some people, even some of us vegans can't even speak in the thread, what's even the point of the live stream? Howling Moon Cinema. We can read you, bro. You're tripping. You've been blazing too much tonight. We, we shouting you out, bro. We can see your shit. Maybe you can't hear us properly or something. I don't know. Calm your ovary, homie saying Thank you. All right. You good. You good. Thank you for coming. your stream. <laughs> I, I should probably try to smash through because it looks like there's a few comments we way back a little bit. Da, 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 da. We do want to sh- go through a video or two with you guys. Just a couple of funny ones we saw. Um, mm, mm, mm. Anything? What you do? Text to speech goes to Ching. Ah, oh, yeah? Cool. I was trying to get it to cheat. Uh, cha-ching. Boom, but it doesn't speak. Uh, All right, sorry about that. Sorry about the false advertising. That. Yeah. Uh, did you make a documentary about your one year vow of silence? No, I didn't actually. That was my first year in social media. You know, I was never into social media before that. But, um, I mean, I had Facebook and that, but this is my... I went vegan the same day I started my vow of silence, the same day I started blogging my journey as I traveled around Australia. And I just wrote about it and shared photos, um, you know, because I was, I was like in the middle of Australia, you know, as I, I rode across Australia by myself in the middle of Australia through the desert. So a lot of the time I didn't have good internet and, you know, uploading videos and stuff. And I was just always on the move. So it wasn't very a very uh, easy way of making videos and stuff but i wrote i wrote almost every single day the whole year talking about my journey talking about the vow of silence and then some vegan messages in everything and um yeah so no not yet maybe one day i'll do something like that who knows um yes yes all right coralie sorry if i'm saying your name wrong coralie the recent case in victoria australia of a staff member caught on hidden camera raping a pig we all know this wouldn't have been a one-off event do you think this would happen at all factory farms uh i like to think no not everyone is quite that level of fucked in the head yeah um even though they are fucked in the head everyone that works at those not everyone that works those places necessarily but if anyone of them think it's okay what they're doing which most of them do that's fucked up and this dude raped a pig that was caged like I don't even no, want another to, level of that sickness. is yeah that is a fucking sick person for sure and that poor pig man like of all the things that go through just they they are just disgusting they are filthy filthy people these people um you know no it probably wasn't the first time and who knows how, i don't know how what to say about that guy yeah you're right like you they're know? stuck with female animals all the time you yeah. know they one of their jobs is to shove their arm in their anuses or even with the pigs as well shove um things of semen into them yeah like they're fucking sickos mate i drop my my apple again (laughs) floor's clean don't worry so yeah fucked up that shit that is i hope that guy gets a long time in jail i always see you partying where i i always see you partying where can i see you in brazil let's dance Oh, we always had the rave. We had the rave. You know? We in, had the rave. In, here in the state, Sao Paulo state, there's always a rave. Every month, there's at least two raves happening, you know, big big parties with like more than 10,000 people. 
Yeah, it's, it's the best ever. <laughs> All you. So keep a look out for us. Yeah. We both have this tattoo. So look out for it. <laughs> and we're both going, bah, 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 jumping the whole time. Um, the first animal rights video I was exposed to was Earthlings. <clears throat> the, that was the first animal rights video I was exposed to as well because that covered everything. But the first video I saw with Slaughter in it was Food Inc. And it was just like a small section on the Slaughter. And I watched it and my brother showed it to me and he said, before we watched it, you'll never want to eat meat again after this. And I was like, yeah, okay. Because I'd grown up with him, we eat meat all day, every day together. So I'm like, whatever, dude. I watched it, didn't feel bad at all. I said, mate, you can feel guilty if you want, but this is what we need to do to survive. And I went upstairs and had some ham. I didn't care at all. And then... Just survive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, and I was a personal trainer for like five or six years at that point. Right. So I was just Can so you believe lost. one day you said things like that? I, I, one girl that I trained was a vegetarian. Uh -huh. Just ate heaps of potatoes and stuff. And I was like, you're, you're going to die. die. So I went to her house and cooked her fish. <laughs> and she ate it. Oh my god. I am so sorry. You, oh my god, that's I so bad. I am so sorry to that person. That's so bad. I that's fucked up. You had the best diet going potatoes. Yeah. <laughs> and I came and said, nah, eat dead bodies. That's ridiculous. I I was ridiculous. Do Do you communicate with Paul from A V or Joey anymore? I was DMing back and forth with Paul about two weeks ago. And um, we, we throw each other DM every now and then. And Joey, yeah, every now and then, same thing. We throw each other DM, DM here and there. Um, you know, he caught up with me a few times during while I, like in terms of just caught up with me, seeing how I was going during while I was really suffering and that. Um, yeah, so nothing but love for Paul and Joey. I don't take MCT oil, nah, I don't. We avoid oil mostly. Um, but how is the cush in Brazil, though? How to cush? I fucking don't know, mate. What are you talking about? <laughs> cush? Never heard. I don't even know what that is, bro. <laughs> Will you get your Facebook back? I hope so, because I'm sick of seeing people posting poker videos in my name. I don't even play poker. <laughs> that Facebook is long gone. It's gone, but yeah, nah. We I... tried to recover, but it's gone. Nah, we're going to get it back. Yeah, maybe with a lawsuit. Someone help not... us. <laughs> Someone help us. If a lawyer can help us. I think it's pretty gone. I got scammed pretty hard. It was pretty sophisticated. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yes, it was. It was sophisticated. It was all the fake websites and shit. True. And then they somehow hacked into my fucking... It was somewhat. No, it was sophisticated. I am for real. <laughs> They've got so many people in that. Even um, Rich Roll did a post about it recently. Really? Yeah, it was annoying. Mm -hmm. So annoying. Like, I had 180,000 people on there. I had 10 years worth of work on there. Videos with millions of views. And I guess that's still there, actually. It's just, yeah, it's still there. Mm. People are probably still commenting on that shit. <laughs> uh, I feel a little bit less bad all of a sudden. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, you know, Facebook is what is one less thing to worry about, I suppose. Have you seen the... Gigliardo, what's up? Have you seen the YouTuber uh, Logical Consistency? Um, I don't think so. Mm, maybe, maybe once or twice, but can't, can't remember for sure. Allison, there's been studies about people who get off on hurting animals like that. Yeah, <laughs> there's people find many ways to find pleasure in the suffering of animals and they're all fucked. Yeah, and then someone is going to eat this raped pig like fucking disgusting. Just, just, started, just get worse. And it's worse. horror, man. It's a horror, horror story. Like, this shit needs to end so bad. I, I don't know how people can hear a story like that and watch a bit of slaughter and be like, I'm still, I'd still eat that. Yeah. I'd still eat that. Like, go to another planet, please. I don't want you near me. You freak me out. Yeah. Nothing really surprises me anymore. The world is rotten to its core. I hate to agree, but <laughs> I'm going to. Like, 
I first, I went first went vegan and I was like, everyone's going to go vegan because look what I just learned that we don't, need, you know, I was sort of leading people in health. You know, I've been a personal trainer for many years. I had cancer when I was younger. So I was very interested in health before that. I was black belt in karate. So very interested in health before that. So I had many years of caring about and learning about health, you know, and teaching other people about it. And um, so then I was like, all right, when I go vegan, all my old clients are going to go vegan because I'm going to be able to give them this argument that they can't refuse and cool everyone's just then gonna go vegan because you just lost clients i did i oh, know i lost clients and i lost friends <laughs> yeah you know <laughs> so it was shocking that all these animal lovers around me were like um no nah, i don't know i don't think it's that bad and there just has to be a certain amount of cruelty that we accept i'm like why why should we accept any cruelty and then like one day she come in this lady and she was like, I, oh, never mind. You don't want to know. I was like, what? And she goes, uh, I had the most delicious goat for lunch. And I was like, why are you telling me that? And also that poor goat. And also you really, really love animals. Did that sound right coming out of your mouth? And yeah, it did. So then I was like, Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, people are crazy. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking weird. What's up, guys? 4 a.m. here. Couldn't sleep, so checking in with headphones on. Happy to see you back in the game, bro. Cliff Grant, my man. What's if anybody up? don't know Cliff Grant, go check this dude out. I don't know if you crank it on YouTube. Yeah, I think so. But I know you're on Instagram doing your thing, and Cliff's out there all the time. Speaking up for the animals does a great job. Super chill vibes. Um, 4 a.m. here, couldn't sleep. What do you mean, mate? Why can't you sleep? Go to sleep, bro. You're a busy man. You got work to do. Smoke get some weed. Yeah, get blazing. Go not <laughs> off, dude. Is it OG? It's all OG, bro. Every tang. It all OGZ. Look at our new lighter. Mm. How cool is that? And it's one of these ones. Mm. Blow torch. Mm. Mm. What's this? Which one? Ah, when I worked as an inspector, this is a 40 year old vegan. What's up, 40 year old vegan? I've seen you around here and there in some comments, comment threads. When I worked as an inspector, they had open cases of incredible amounts of horrific violence, even within the confines of the law. Yeah, many just got warnings or a small fine. Yeah, what is legal is more than bad enough. You know, it's all fucked up shit. But anyway, look what we did. We, we finished. We got to the end. That's cool. <laughs> so now we can watch a video. Let's do it. Pass me the water, please. <clears throat> Cliff's got some fans in the house. <laughs> so he should. All right, <clears throat> so who knows Eckhart Tolle or Eckhart Tolle, whatever you say his name. Um, where did you learn about him? Was it through me? Through you, yeah. It was through me. Yeah. Mm. You never heard of him before that? No. Oh. Uh, I saw your YouTube video yeah. where you, you are recommending, actually you're recommending the power. power not now. the power oh, now. That's not Eckhart. Yeah, I know, but then mm. uh, I don't know how I got to the power of now. I think it was same to you. Yeah, maybe. I talked about it quite a bit back in the day. Yeah, and then I started reading and it was just life-changing, life-changing. Mm, it is life-changing. Yeah. Guess what? Cindy is reading his book currently. That's awesome. Well, yeah. you're going to love this video, Cindy. I keep this book always close to me. and Close I to you where? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the toilet. <laughs> so I, re I always read some pages, you know, wake up, toilet, read a few pages. You do it every morning? No, so nice. just when I need some inspiration. Ah, uh, nice, nice. Yeah. All right, cool. So, so I don't even know. Oh, no, I do know how I got into Eckhart Tolle. So I was 21. Um, I was working in a gym running a personal training business and... Um, I 
was seeing a girl at the time who was like on a spiritual journey and she read Eckhart Tolle and then she's like, you have to read this, you have to read this, you have to read this. This is going to be a new requirement for my future boyfriends. This book is so important. So I was like, I'm going to read it, you know, because it sounds epic. I got like 60 or 70 pages deep and this is actually A New Earth, his second book, Not the Power of Now. I'm like 60, 70 pages deep just... What the hell is going on in this book? I do not understand a single word. <laughs> I got nothing from the last 70 pages. Well, I might as well have not read anything. Yeah, it's a trip. Yeah, it's a trip. But then, all of a sudden, there was this section where he was like, close your eyes, feel the energy in your hands. You feel that energy? That's you, you know? You're not this voice just stuck on repeat going, blah, 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 blah. You're deeper than that. You're this observing presence this consciousness this energy and so i read that i'm like blah 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 blah. then i read this thing to do so i do the exercise and my mind quieted and i felt this energy in my body that i'm usually oblivious to and i i was like oh this book's so good this book's epic and then i was all about it and then i read it like 10 times and all this other stuff and you prefer the uh a new earth than the power of now? I think a new earth is more of an interesting story told, the way it's written, where I feel like the power of now... A new earth, I think, is like the motivation to do it more. I think it's a bit of a trip. Yeah, it know? is a bit of a trip. Yeah, I just read once because I didn't like that much. Mm. I prefer well, the power of now. The power of now is very practical. Yeah. It's like, do this, and this is how it is, and think like this, and... Yeah. It's more, you read that and then you're like, oh, I know, I know how to work with this. I love the questions and the answers, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's how it's written. It's in the yeah. format of like, hey, Eckhart, da, 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 da. Yeah, it's and then so he, good. Yeah, it is a good process. Um, hey, Tonya, long time no chat. Your vegan friend, Tonya. <laughs> Hope you're doing good. Your vegan friend, Tonya. I guess... We met in Michigan. I remember meeting you somewhere like at the end of a speech. And I think we met a few times, maybe, if I remember correctly. We did a video together, right? You interviewed me for your channel or something. I, I hope know. I'm thinking of the right person. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. <laughs> yeah. That looks like you. All right. What's up? <laughs> that was perfect. Nice to see you. So, anyway, as I was saying. I love the name, the username. You'll be your friend, Tonya. <laughs> I wasn't going to say because I wasn't sure, but you got my signature tattooed on you. Is that right? I'm pretty sure. I, I thought it, but I'm like, I'm not going to say it in case, I'm, in case that didn't happen and I was tripping. Is that right? Let's wait for you. I'm, I'm intrigued. I want to see this, this tattoo. Yeah! Oh, yeah! That's awesome! Yeah, that is sick. How do we see it? Can you DM it to me so I can show Nikki? <laughs> Damn it to me. Yeah. How long ago? Respect, man. I appreciate you. How long ago? That would have been like, I reckon, seven years ago. Cool. Maybe. Maybe awesome. like seven years or something. Yeah. All right, wicked. Oh, I can't wait to see. I forget how, because like there's been a few people tattooed my, how crazy. There's been a few people tattooed my signature to them. And I think I know which one it was. But I'm not sure. So send me, send me a DM and let me know when you send it to me. We'll have a look. Um, all right. As I was saying. Ekato. Ekato. So. The legend. The man, the myth, the legend. So Eckhart, you know, read his book 10 times. Read his other books, preached Eckhart Toll. And um, I was a huge, I'm, I am a huge fan. Done amazing stuff. I don't throw people away from just because I might disagree with one thing of them you know I try to I'm like this is a good person I can see nobody's perfect but you know they got some good stuff to share and whatever they're doing their best that's how I feel with Eckhart big time you inspired me glad you guys are doing great okay yeah send a pic thank you mm -hmm. so anyway naturally years later when I start getting interested in animal rights I wonder, what about all these people I've admired all of these years? Have any of them gone vegan or... Have Surely. It, 
Sure, I mean, they are great people, you know. I'm sure the Dalai Lama's vegan. You know? I'm sure Eckhart's They're vegan. They're so involved. In yeah. The smart. Of course they you are. Know? What, you think Eckhart's... They think outside the box. Eckhart eats animals? Of Get course not. Out of you know, no like, way. You He's enlightened, duh. Yeah. <laughs> He's like Buddha. <laughs> Eckhart don't eat things that come from slaughterhouses, mm-hmm. obviously. Of course not. So we do a little research. <laughs> And um, now I've watched, I've listened to so much Eckhart, like hundreds of hours, you know, it was, I just used to always try to download his stuff, you know, uh, random, 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 anything I could get of his, I listened to all his audios and like drill my mind with it. And he is smooth with it. I don't know if you just know him, but when he answers a question, he answers like this. <laughs> Slower. <laughs> and he takes his sweet ass time about it. Always, right? So, so he doesn't slip up much, you know? But when I saw the first video I saw of someone asking him about diet, I was like, wow. He... He slipped up there for the first time I've ever seen. He stumbled on his words. He didn't quite know what to say. You know, that that was the first time I've ever seen him not mm. be sure of himself. So it was fascinating because I was really, com- I was awakening to this reality of the world that like people I respect and look up to are really, really lost on the topic of animal rights and are funding the animal holocaust. So it was like tripping me out that enlightened people or super intelligent people are doing super unintelligent things. You know, I didn't think they did that anymore. Anyway. Oh, okay. uh, yeah. yeah, we got a... Um, we got a super chat. Is that a super chat? No, I, just a I tip. think it's a tip. Okay, we got a tip. Thanks for the tip, Animal Liberation Now. How to separate comments and split mm-hmm. words into bits and pieces in order to talk about the truth of animal industries. Then people just focus on why I'm spamming by posting too many comments. Makes it so hard to defend the animals. Sorry, I only have $20 to my name. Don't be sorry. We greatly appreciate the tip. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Um, and we hope you have more dollars to your name very soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, mate... Yeah, look, my advice, if you aren't having too much success in comment sections, because it is a bit of a, it's not, it feels like you're doing something and you are, and it is important, but you, there's better things we could probably do than get stuck in comment sections with people who are trolls trolls and obsessed yeah. with just trolling you and, and wasting your time and are never going to change just because some vegan in a comment section said they should, you know? Yeah. They need more than that. And um, I'm not saying don't do it. I do it all the time, you know. It would be hypocritical of me. I'd be the biggest hypocrite ever to say don't get in comment sections. Maybe find better crowds, you know, like go to some comment sections where people are more... um, Open-minded. Yeah, open-minded and more intelligent, you know. More Mm. like, ah, I want to have a discussion here. I'm not just trolling, you know. Some comment sessions and types of people you talk, they're just like there for trolling to talk shit to just talk nonsense and yeah who knows who they are you know how old are they their education level and everything like that you mm. know like it's true their compassion level and are they real yeah exactly. you know like i get i get in a conversation sometimes where i'm just like are you even a real person are you just a bot made to waste my time so yeah, maybe there's other things you can do, you know, or get into like more philosophical debate sort of circles and maybe yeah. you'll have better progress because people are really there to have these kind of arguments where someone in the comment section is just there to talk shit, especially if a vegan pops up. Mm-hmm. Um, what are we reacting to? Ask Kingdom Truth. I'm trying to get to that. I'm trying really hard to get to that. We have been reacting to everybody's comments just yeah. for the last hour or something, but we're about to react to Eckhart Tolle, who is a spiritual leader, um, when he is asked about food and diet and you know an ethical diet. So I'm going to do that within three minutes. But first, I'm going to read these next few messages. Um, have you watched The Good Place? 
great show to learn about basic uh, ethics. Mo- is that that one where they go to heaven yeah, and they yeah. come back? Oh, yeah, I watched some of that. It was funny. Yeah. My avo is make the verse. Just like that. Thank you for making new videos, James. Hi, Luther. I was newly vegan when I found your channel in 2017 and listening to you helped me think about things in the correct way. I really appreciate you. That's epic. I really appreciate hearing that and I hope you are paying it forward to many people. Thank you for being vegan for seven years, you legend. That's awesome. And I hope many, many, many more years to come until it's all over. Not to get too dark. Let's get to it. We should wish for dead tired. All right. No injustice lasts forever. Peace. By the way, I see you doing good work out there and I appreciate you, dude. All right. So, what are you doing here? I'm putting the... You want to do that one? Reaction? Um, press ah, that one. this one. Is it this one? Yeah. Okay. Nah. Yeah, no? yeah, we could do this one. Yeah. And... No, not that. Why is no... Ah, here. Yep, that's it. Boom. All right, let's just do a little practice run to see if... Oh, sorry. To see if they can um, even hear. You know? Yeah. So tell us if you can hear this. I, uh, I read a, a quote where you were discussed. Boom, can you hear that? Someone tell us. Mm-hmm. Hey, Nilf Knight. What the hell no, is that? No, just... Okay, they can around. hear. Cool. All right, boom. So, let's watch together. This is going to be funny. It's loud enough. Um, can we make it a bit louder, man? Sound up a touch. Yeah, yeah. All right, let me see how I can do that. I think it's a... Uh, you do it, you better that. Maybe here? Is it default? No, no, no. No, I don't know, actually. Hmm. How can we do that? No. No. Help us, everyone. Streaming is complex. Yeah, 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 no, yeah. No, this is our microphone. Uh, Let's try this one. Okay. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't. Okay. Just go like, yeah, that'll do. Let's see. All right, hopefully this works. All right, ready? Seeing people's uh, food choices and how that's connected maybe to their spirituality. And I'm wondering if you can elaborate on uh, how that's connected um, especially concerning ahimsa. What a great way to phrase it, first of all, so to stop already, but like how it's connected to ahimsa, you know, that's, you don't have to talk about veganism. It's a spiritual crowd. Everyone's all about ahimsa. So yeah, Eckhart, how about ahimsa and food? Tell us. Tell us. Thank you. I would say I've never, as I never do, to tell people you should do this or you should not do that, but you should be present with what... He just said you should. (laughs) I don't tell people what they should or shouldn't do, but you should be present. What a hypocrite. That's why he always say say you should be present. So (laughs) that's Eckhart so far. Eckhart, this is a very bad start, bro. Shut and actually, also, I don't tell people what they should or shouldn't do. You should do. <laughs> if you are about it, you should tell people what they should or shouldn't do. But it looks like you actually do and you're just lying. So anyway. Keep Whatever going. your food choices are, and then the right food choice will happen for you rather than... <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Come on, Eckhart. You can do better than that. So... What did oh you say? <laughs> Let's go back. Right. You I should do say. this or you should not do that, but you should nice. be present with whatever your food choices are, and then the right food choice will happen for you. Okay, what be, the fuck be, does it even mean? It's very vague. Be present with what your food choices are. My okay. food choices are bacon. Yeah. Okay, and the right food choice will happen for you. Bacon and eggs. <laughs> hmm, he was right. It worked. Let's have breakfast. That's yeah, okay, so that's not the best advice so far, but maybe he's going to be a little bit more practical soon. Let's find out. Rather than giving a, an abstract guideline, it needs... 
sorry, I'm going to do this like every two words. But like, <laughs> happen, that's a better idea than giving an abstract guideline. What is that? Well, abstract abstra- guideline? Like, She's asking what... What what was the question again? Let's it was like talk to back. talk to us about food and how it relates to ahimsa. Uh huh. And he's like, well, I don't want to give you an abstract guideline, but you don't need to. You could just give a very direct guideline of don't eat animals. That's a horrific thing we do yeah. in this world. Ahimsa means no violence. So, <laughs> so you, you're not easy. I easy, mean, it's like, easy guideline. There's you know? broccoli that you can't be violent towards. And then there's pigs that you can be violent towards. So this should be a pretty simple question. <laughs> I think I would have answered this better so far, but let's give it, <laughs> let's give him a chance. Anyone would. Not anyone. Any vegan. Any vegan, maybe. <laughs> yeah. All right. So, <clears throat> come on, Eckhart. I've talked you up a minute ago. Do do something. It's to come from within rather than as something from without. Okay. So he's saying you have to make your own choice. Someone can't just tell you to do something. Um, there's some truth there. I'm, try, I'm trying to be generous. <laughs> so I can't be generous. Well, when there is a victim involved, you know. Facts on It's facts. the same as like, oh, uh, it's my personal choice, actually. No, you know, there's a victim. Yeah, but I think he's saying like, you have to, mm. but, but no, like, I, I don't care if someone's made the choice. If I could, I would just stop them anyway. You know? Mm. I'm like, you haven't made the choice yet? Okay, too bad. Stop. However, I could maybe do that. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not... Yeah, ideally, they're going to make the choice themselves. But if they're not, then it's still something that should be changed by someone like Eckhart. Look at her face. Stop. She's She's a vegan. She's completely... This is the feeling I had <laughs> when I looked up Eckhart Toll. <laughs> When it's I like went a, fucking started thinking about animal rights. She's looking exhausted after hearing that. She's so let down. She came and paid money for this event yeah. to see this legend. And this is the shit he says. <laughs> the right food choice. You're going to blow it on the mic. Maybe. Uh, or maybe if you sit down, it's all right, actually. That's better. The right food choices will happen if you just feel it. <laughs> and um, it has to come from inside. That craving for... <laughs> being a vegan <laughs> all right so this poor vegan we should find out who it is and send, yeah. us, send us some vegan chocolates yes. because she did a great service here she did she she exposed yes Eckhart like a boss yeah so i don't someone know who you to. are someone had to do it i don't know who you are <clears throat> legend lady but i hope one day you show up in our stream please one day look we need to buy you chocolates all right so if you like chocolate (laughs) get in touch and we're gonna hook you up (laughs) all right and poor girl so (laughs) so if you're a vegetarian that's wonderful it doesn't mean that immediately makes you into a person who is spiritual uh Mm. yes of course facts vegetarians suck vegetarians (laughs) They're not very spiritual. They just like um, pretend to be. No, they're just uh, in excuse mode. I'm like, look at me. I don't eat meat. <laughs> I love animals. Okay, what about cows? Yeah. What about chickens? <laughs> oh, what God. about leather? What about testing? Yeah. What about zoos? Vegetarian. You know what I'm saying? Most vegetarians eat fish even, you know? Yeah, exactly. They're like, yeah, I'm vegetarian. I have a little bit of fish sometimes. Yeah. Um, fish aren't broccolis, you know? Fish aren't plants. So, all right, Eckhart, you're not necessarily a spiritual person if you're vegetarian. Agreed. But you saw that before then, he allowed her to be vegetarian. Let's go back. Uh, yeah. Wonderful. It's wonderful if you are a vegetarian. Okay. It doesn't mean that it immediately Thanks, makes you Eckhart. into a person who is spiritual. Okay, got a little bit defensive. Look, <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's good if you're vegetarian, but it doesn't mean you're more spiritual than I am. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, look at her face. She's disappointed in you, Eckhart. What does that say Very about your behavior? Yeah, I thought so. All right. So. You could be egoically identified with being vegetarian. In- you could be egoically identified with being obsessed with eating dead bodies, maybe. I don't know. What do you think? That was very lazy. Very lazy. You could be egoically identified with being vegetarian. Just got a quote from some other part of the book and pasted there, you know. 
Yep. That's so how I feel yes. about this. <laughs> okay, so say something meaningful, please. In which case, it would be a hindrance to the realization of the spiritual dimension. <laughs> so, <laughs> I, I shocked a vegetarian once when I said, did you know that Hitler was a vegetarian? I <laughs> We're going to have to spank this guy. Maybe. What? Say that. Just spank no. a little, little tap on the booty. Naughty, naughty. Respect, Erica. I'm sometimes <laughs> tough love is a way of respect. I, I, it's very painful to be a fan of a guy that says something like that, you know. It's extremely disappointing. It's very because he's he's got a good teaching, but um, I guess he developed in one way and not the other. Did you know <laughs> that? Did you know that Hitler was a vegetarian? I right. knew that Hitler wasn't a vegetarian, actually, because there's evidence that he wasn't a vegetarian. And, and why are we even speaking about him, you know? Like, we're talking if about Hitler, America if and Hitler, Hitler, no, listen to this. No, not listen Hitler, to this. of course. If Hitler was a vegetarian and you're not, <laughs> what does that say, bro? Even Hitler was vegetarian, apparently. And you're not even vegetarian, you're worse. <laughs> Well, you know, you know, on on the animal rights side of things, the that's logic, bad. the logic is like Hitler is a vegetarian. Therefore, if you are a vegetarian, you are a bad person. <laughs> Come on, Eckhart, you went to university. <laughs> yeah, you've written books. <laughs> Did you read any? <laughs> All right, let's keep going. No, I, I'm, you know, I love Eckhart. Don't get me wrong. I just think this is stupid. So. <laughs> oh. that person was very strongly identified with a mental image of me as a spiritually evolved vegetarian and so <laughs> and so when you basically admitted that you weren't a vegetarian we yeah. were all like so you support animal abuse yeah that's not very enlightened mm -hmm. that's actually really sad what's wrong yeah. with you why do you do that why are you laughing right now what's funny about slaughtering innocent <laughs> beings look at you a, yeah, I'm not a vegetarian. Fuck animals. <laughs> yeah. Okay, bro. Yeah. Let's see how peaceful this guy would be if he was the one getting treated the way that he's laughing about how animals are treated. <laughs> Alison said, saying Hitler was a vegetarian was propaganda to make Hitler look exactly. like a compassionate person. To make yeah. him look compassionate like Gandhi, who was an actual vegetarian mm. at the same around the same time. And like it's <coughs> so crazy the amount of propaganda there is still against vegans, you know, like it, it's always the opposite. What do you mean? Because <laughs> like they use the... Oh, right. You know? They're like, Hitler was vegetarian. Da -da. Uh -huh. And then they're like, vegans are so nutrient deficient that they're going to yeah, die. Yeah. Yeah. It's, they just use it however they want to. Mm. It's crazy. Um... Oh, I've heard that Hitler abolished German Germany's vegetarian society at the time. Yeah, interesting. Mm. I never heard that. But I did read a book a couple of times called Eternal Treblinka by Charles Patterson, which is all the parallels between the Holocaust that happened in World War II and the animal Holocaust. And they got blueprints for the production line and slaughterhouses and plans and everything from slaughterhouses for the gas chambers and the whole process of uh -huh. one person has this job and this person has this job and they just keep doing their job, keep doing their job and the animals just go through the line. Um, yeah. Among many other things. Like the the, it's a whole the, book of parallels. It's the it's heaviest ever. I, I, yeah. couldn't, I couldn't read because I really want it, but it's very intense. It is so intense. But let's move quickly on to something less intense than Hitler which is slippery man beans question do you like beans we love beans we love beans we we're just talking about beans today actually yeah. as a brazilian beans is like part of my everyday food rice and beans you know every brazilian eats that every yeah. day we're not eating much because we don't have a pressure cooker so to cook beans is it's not the same process you mm. know it takes we a long one. time and doesn't get very creamy and here it's not very common to have canned beans. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, it's one good thing about Brazil because obviously it's not nowhere's that vegan friendly. But um, rice and beans you can get in yeah. most restaurants, most places. So yeah. that's actually pretty epic. 
So we love beans. What's your favorite bean? Um, I I think normal uh, Brazilian brown beans. Um, mm. I used to hate uh, black beans because uh, here we have a, a dish called feijoada, which is beans, uh, be a bean stew with uh, all parts of animals. I think I think pigs. Mm. Um, they, because it's a dish that uh, was created by the slaves um, that they used the, the parts of the pig that were discarded by the, the slave owners and they created this, this meal to feed themselves and became um, you know a tradition in Brazil um, and then this made me hate black beans because you know the beans too with parts of a pig. It's yeah, all random parts. Whoa, I mean, disgusting. All... Yeah, whatever part yeah. is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Lance said, I never use a pressure cooker for beans. Um, we make beans still sometimes, but it's not the same. Yeah. Pressure cooker beans. Make it creamy. So, so yeah, delicious. Make it delicious. So. My mom uh, cook for us and... We we freeze. <laughs> Slippery man bean has a can of black beans. For I was lunch just every telling day. my that husband Odell awesome. all about you both, um, smiling face with hearts. Look at this. Our friend, our vegan friend Tonya, just gave an eleven eleven tip. Let's kiss. Yeah, true. Yeah, we kiss every eleven eleven. <laughs> um, not just tips, but the times of day as well. I was just telling my husband Odell all about you both. Cool. Awesome. That's awesome. Um, tell him to come by the stream sometime. Mm-hmm. And I just checked my phone for a photo of the tattoo and I didn't see it there yet. So still <coughs> waiting. waiting. Still <laughs> waiting. To see if it's true or not. <laughs> all right. All right. Anyway. Oh, Nikki, what's your favorite Portuguese dish? Ask the 40 year old vegan. Uh, Portu- no, uh, Portuguese dish? It speaks Portuguese. Portuguese dish. Yeah, or like Brazilian food. dish. I guess Brazilian, probably. Right, so, because she's Brazilian. Um, I don't know. Brazilian dish. I love pão de queijo. Pão de oh, queijo is the best. And I'm always cooking that because um, it's, it's made of um, polvilho, which is a cassava flour, and um, cheese and eggs, the original recipe. But then if you make with potato, cassava flour, and a lot of spices and some water you make this dough and you put in the air fryer or in the oven and it's this like chewy bread that has this delicious consistency and it's so good to eat with uh, vegan cream cheese it's just the best. What do you think about that? I love punji queijo. It's crispy on the outside, gooey on the yeah. center. So, so yummy. Bit of cream cheese for it's sure. Amazing. They're amazing. so amazing. And so fast and easy to make. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we're going to get back to you, Eckhart. Don't think we're done with your bullshit. <laughs> but let's answer another question or two. Slippery Man Bean, do you have any animal rights tattoos, Nicole? Me? Uh, no. Not you yet. Have, not an animal rights tattoo, but you have a underwater scene. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, something like that. There's a turtle see. here and yeah. uh, two fish here. Yeah. And the ocean. I made this tattoo in Bali when we were leaving because we snorkel a lot there and it's one of my favorite things to do. We, I really, really, so really love fish. snorkeling. Yeah, fish mm. and a lot of turtles and mm. other sea animals. Yeah, I really sick. love to be under the water and meeting our fish family. Oh, <laughs> it's the best. Like, yeah. I'll never think about fish and all of them the same again. Mm-hmm. It was, there we got some crazy stories from our snorkeling experiences. Yeah. Shit you wouldn't believe. <laughs> but Eckhart, we have a job to do. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we'll tell you guys another time. Um, and I have a lot of animal rights tattoos, yeah. All over. <laughs> yeah. Okay, when I come down to Brazil next year, I'll stop by for some foods and activism. Yeah. Boom! Boom. We'll be making pão de queijo for you, yeah. for sure. we'll make some pão de queijo. All right, so let's get back to the so-called spiritual teacher, yeah, Eckhart Tolle. All right, so just to remind you, he was just talking about how he told someone 
that was vegetarian. Did you know that Hitler was a vegetarian? Which is bullshit, in case <laughs> anybody confused. He was not. Yes, he was a vegetarian. I don't know why he was a vegetarian. Perhaps, uh, I don't know, I haven't read about it, but I know that when he, whenever people around Hitler were eating chicken soup, and so he said condescendingly, so you're eating dead bird soup. Uh, <laughs> 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 yes. Sounds like an advocate. That's a that's the only good thing I've ever heard of Hitler doing. And um, what I was gonna say about Erka? He's he's yeah, it's a dead bird soup. Are we gonna talk about that? Yeah, he's <laughs> like what? He's laughing as if it was kind of a silly thing to say. Yeah. Well, it, 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 well I it doubt that's of, true for one thing. It kind of reminds me of my uncle, you know. Like <laughs> a, 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 you know, an uncle thing to do. Like, oh, yeah, a dead, soup, a dead bird soup. Ha <laughs> ha. You know? Yeah. Like, not someone enlightened and they wrote many books and uh, it's so influential. Just say something like that. It's just, yeah. Well, he's just saying, like, I heard that Hitler would Yeah, do I know. But then for you to just go through the, you know, saying eating so dead bird soup and not acknowledging that, just laughing. Yeah, like, a, that's your you opportunity know? now to be like, which is true. And you know how birds are also sentient beings that feel pain and suffer? We shouldn't make soups out of them, guys. Yeah. That's my answer. Let's stop doing that. It's but really he cruel. never stops to think about that at all? Like This guy has all this... He doesn't think. That's his whole thing. He just bees. <laughs> True. So, nah, he hasn't <laughs> thought Come about on, it. Baby. It's facts. That's what he does. <laughs> He's enlightened beings. Don't think, and they think they're all smart, and they're dumb. <laughs> all right, let's move on. <laughs> so, it really is... It comes... The answer to that comes from within you, and you have to do what feels right what corresponds to your state of consciousness at any time when you go into, when you even look at food or even think of food. Um, it is helpful to, sometimes when I buy some food, I go into a supermarket or okay. somewhere and I look at the shelf, I imagine that this is going into my body and then the body either opens up to it or <laughs> closes down. The body either opens up or closes down. Eckhart, what the fuck? Eckhart, there are children watching, bro. What the fuck is that? Um, well, that was really weird. So, like, I go to the supermarket, <laughs> I look at the food, and I... Is my body opening up or closing down? Skittles! <laughs> open! Chocolate, open! Open! Red wine, open. <laughs> Fuck yeah, this guy knows how to shop. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, someone just sent us a tip. Thank you so much for the tips. See, all, the, see all these lights? You are helping vegan us seeking keep vegan. them on. Vegan seeking vegan. We might have to play a little Let's bit of matchmaker here. All right, you're in the right chat. That we're gonna, is We're going to help you find this vegan you are Love seeking. Vegan. So, thanks for the tip, mate. How did you and Nikki meet? You are so lucky to have each other and are so supportive. I'm alone as a vegan and don't feel like I can be with someone who treats animals like disposable objects. That is very fair. Feels the same as being with a murderer to me. That is very fair. Yeah. People don't understand. Yeah, they really don't. That's really sad. It's really hard. And not only now has the dating pool for you shrunk, big time because you're only interested in dating vegans which fair enough but on top of that you have to find a cool vegan yeah. and um you know you can be vegan and still not be that cool yeah. like i think yeah go ahead my advice is this is gonna be good she gives great <laughs> advice tell us all look for someone that is your type of person that matches your vibe then it's someone really that you're looking for, you know, like, ah, you have to have a list of things that you want, you're looking at a person and just 
go after that person. If you meet someone and this person doesn't tick, 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 tick the boxes, move on to the next person. Mm. And then, if this person is Worth your type time. of person, yeah. this person will understand what you're saying, you know, will be open to see the animals how you see the animals and will be open to change yeah. otherwise it's not your person you know because like yeah some people are still very lost about animal rights mm. about who animals are you know they they don't they can't see who animals are like we see indeed and you so, were probably the same ones too yeah vegan. so vegan, we have vegan. to open this special person's heart and make them go vegan I love the advice. I knew yeah. you would give good advice. I would not have thought to say something really? like that. Very good. Very mm. good. Yeah. I think she's right. I have to say I think she's right because, look, if you're with them and they're just not going to change, okay, move on. It was yeah. worth a try. Mm. But your person might be waiting for you to help them go yeah. vegan, mm. you know? And and I, you have a list. Don't don't settle, right? Yeah. You got a list of things you like. I got a list. And it's not the same as this person. It's not the same as that person. These are the things I like. Yeah. You know, um, that, that I, that's just how I am, right? We're all, we're all different, different needs and that's good. There's maybe someone out there for everyone. I don't know exactly. But what I would say, wow, oh, Anonymous gave us a mm, huge tip. Thank you. $33.33. Thank you so much. That is very generous. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. Beautiful. Um, we're going to buy so many punji casuals. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, so just getting back to what we were saying. Uh, what were we saying? <laughs> About meeting someone. Right. You, um, you've got what you like, you know. I, have, I was very blessed, and so were you as well, where we had good examples of good relationships in our lives, you know. Our, both our parents are still together and, yeah. you know, spend all day, like, spent all the time together and are happy and my brother and his girlfriend had been together for like I think they've been together for like 12 years now or something you know um great couple like always together always happy and doing their thing and so I had like a high standard of what I wanted in a partner mm -hmm. but then after so many years I was like hmm, maybe that's not for me maybe I'm not going to get someone that really matches me so her so yeah I think the advice is good you know just <laughs> Put yourself out there, be you, be totally honest with who yeah. you are, but mm -hmm. be open that the right person could just be one good conversation away from joining you on the journey. And she'll always appreciate, or he'll always appreciate you for helping open their eyes. So, you know, yes, you want to be with a vegan long term, of course, but maybe a little patience at the start could yeah. be a good addition to whatever else you're doing. Exactly. Yeah. And how did we meet? How we meet? Well, I, I, I was already a big fan. A big fan. A big fan. Like mm -hmm. uh, I was telling earlier that um, I was vegetarian for a year. You know that type of vegetarian that still eats a fish. And then I was uh, on my journey, uh, learning more and more about uh, animal rights and what happens to them in the industry. And I found out about eggs and milk. And, and then I saw James' uh, speech um, when he broke his vow of silence. And I was instantly in love. <laughs> I was like, this guy. Yeah, yeah, this guy is amazing. And watch more and more videos of him. And always admiring him a lot and learning a lot from his um, street outreach and dreaming that one day I would um, join him in a vegan outreach, um, you know, street outreach and, and talk about veganism with people. And yeah, so I kept following him and <laughs> I sent him a DM once. <laughs> saying that oh, I had yeah. a dream it was actually a nightmare 
that involving uh, pig slaughterhouse, something like that. I don't remember exactly, but we can we can check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I didn't there. write back. Yeah, I read. He, I was like, this chick dreaming <laughs> about us at a slaughterhouse. <laughs> Too crazy. <laughs> no, it wasn't you and me at the slaughterhouse. Ah, it was, okay. It was something very yeah, yeah, horrific. Yeah. Something dark. With with mm. pigs, and I wanted to share with someone, and didn't know any vegans, you know, or vegetarians. I was a very lonely vegan, mm. and I decided to message him and just, you know get this off my chest and yeah i was ignored <laughs> and then uh at some point i was planning to go to australia to live there for a year get a um, working holiday visa and live in, in sydney and um while i was planning my trip and you know saving money and stuff i was watching his videos and um to get some of the accent, the Australian accent. So <laughs> I was watching his videos a lot. So yeah, then I went to Australia, stayed there for a year. And then um, it, it was in January, I was working in a vegan restaurant and, I, and it was like near the city center in Sydney. So I went to have, um, on, my, on my lunch break, I, I went to, to the shops to, to buy some uniform for my new job. And I saw him there doing the, the outreach with uh, Anonymous for the Voiceless. Yep. And when I saw him, I was like, I was shocked. I, was like, I can't believe, I can't believe he's here in front of mm -hmm. me and I don't know what to do. And mm -hmm. I called my friend, my best friend in Brazil and I said, Marina, please help me. <laughs> I don't know what to do. He's there. He's here, you know. And she knew that uh, he is my biggest idol, you know. And I, it was like my dream to meet him one day. And I even once said to my parents, I was at home, and I said to them, "You'll see. One day I'm gonna drop everything, and I'm gonna find James Aspie, and gonna follow him doing vegan activities together." <laughs> and yeah. What a hot stalker. Uh, he was. I wasn't even looking for you, you know. No. Nah. <laughs> what? The? I didn't think I Just would meet you me on the doing street. Doing my job in <laughs> right in the city there. But you, you were in, in Australia the whole time, yeah, I think. I just got to Australia. Yeah, and <laughs> and then yeah, I saw him and my friend is like, you have to go talk to him. I'm like. I don't know if I can. Sorry, <laughs> I I'm too nervous. I don't know. She's like, no, you go. You had to go. So then I went and I wait to talk to him. And I said, I when it was my my turn, I said that uh, I'm a big fan. Thanks so much for all you do. Can I have a can can I can I have Kiss a you. hug? No. <laughs> can I hug you? <laughs> can I marry you? <laughs> Yeah, and then we hugged. Yeah. And then he invited, he's like, oh, are you doing the cube? And you know, the cube of truth. I said, no, I'm just in my lunch break. I work in the restaurant there. He's like, oh, so join me. Join me to, to do some outreach. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. What the fuck? Uh -huh. <laughs> so I was like tripping the whole time, you know. So this is not happening. Yeah. But it was cool, and we had some conversations. It was very interesting. At some point, I got very involved with a farmer that was there talking shit. And I was like, no, I have things to say here. Ah, <laughs> so yeah. that, that was our first meeting moment. Yeah. It was beautiful. And mm -hmm. we got a photo of it, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, okay, so... That's how we met. That is the <laughs> moment we met. And that was <laughs> January 5th, 2020? Yeah. Boom. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. Yeah. And then after that, he went to the restaurant to have dinner. Yeah, that <laughs> night after the cube, we went to the restaurant, um, had dinner, and then you served us? No. No, I, no, just, I just was in the reception. Up. Yeah, you came and said, what's up? And then Dim, some of you might know Dim. Um, he's an activist from Melbourne. I think he's from Melbourne, maybe. Yeah, he's from <laughs> Australia. He, he got up. I, I was like, oh my God, how hot is this chick? She knows me. She's like from Brazil and she's watched my shit and she's, she's so hot. Harry said, the most beautiful women, my vegan fiance is Brazilian. They are, they are. <laughs> Respect. 
Oh, Harry Bowman. Oh, no, Harry. You know Harry. What's up, Harry? <laughs> how you doing, bro? Long time no chat. Yeah, he's he's been... How long you been vegan, Harry? You've been vegan like 50 years or Whoa. something. I don't know if it's 50, but it's... Old school. He's vegan. one of the oldest, like long longest term vegans I know. That's so cool. Looking good too. Looking healthy. Awesome. Yeah, love and life. Always good vibes, Harry. I wish I was vegan that long. I mean, yeah. <laughs> not oh. that long. But Slow down. You'll get there one day. <laughs> Since I was born, you know. Yeah. I wish I was born vegan. You were, but then they corrupted you. Yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what was I going to say? Yeah, yeah, anyway. There's more of the story, but you get the idea. We got married. I thought you were saying about Dean. Sorry, right. So there's more of the story. So then <laughs> they were having our dinner. I'm like, oh my God, let's go. And then Dim comes back with her number. <laughs> I was like, Dim, I never loved you so much in my life. And yeah, then we went to a little party at his place and... Um, it was the best. Yeah. It was the best ever. And then, you know, we just, that's the start of our story. We could talk all night about yeah. the whole crazy story, but anyway, that's how we met. Yeah. <laughs> when, when I start telling our story, I end up like, it's like, it's a book, you know, and people are like, really? And then? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's just stick with Air the cut. first couple of hours that happened and then move yeah. on and get back to Eckhart. Skyno's an 80 year vegan. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, Sky, you mean Sky from Vegan, of course. That's the only <laughs> vegan I know named Probably. Sky. 80 year vegan? That's I need beautiful. to talk to that person. <laughs> that is like, imagine being vegan 80 years ago. Yeah. Imagine 80 years of people talking <laughs> bullshit. I'll be not. Nah. I'm never going to make it that Maybe long. Maybe you will. I don't think I'm I will. here to support you. <sighs> I don't know if I'm going to make it. Yeah. yeah. Eckhart is going to help Sky us. Jack Morgan is his name. <laughs> Eckhart is not going to help read, us read from what I've seen. Read his books to be saying. I don't know if I care about this guy's <laughs> books anymore. <laughs> All right. So, oh, and by the way, Harry said my vegan fiance is Brazilian. Yeah. All right then. Pada Benz, Harry. Pada Benz. I didn't realize he said that. Um, I just noticed. I just noticed Brazilian woman. Kind of thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> All right. Dude, Harry, good work. <laughs> and so if you're in touch with the body, then that is quite helpful. It makes it easier. Uh, the mind often doesn't really know what, what the body really wants. It, the mind remembers some past pleasure and wants to repeat it. And that's where overeating also occurs because... We're not talking about it's overeating. Just a himza. Overeating is on the external level, on the physical level. This is where I was like, this dude don't know what the fuck to say. No, he's just completely lost. But this is the <laughs> first time. Every time he's asked a question, I'm like, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Well answered, Eckhart. With this, he's just like, uh, yeah. uh, blah, 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 blah. got nothing good to say. You were asked about a himza and food. You haven't mentioned a himza at all. You're just saying, if it feels good to eat a yeah. certain food, eat the food. Your body, the your violence? body knows your mind doesn't. Well, that sounds like a bunch of bullshit level the need to fill a sense of insufficiency that is ultimately there on the psychological spiritual sorry, level the sense i don't know what i'm talking about sorry, not psychology. enough is oh sorry maybe he was <laughs> representing that <laughs> it was a subliminal message sorry, sorry. psychological good Good Think call. about the side <laughs> when you're making your food choices. Uh, when you're sitting there, think, <coughs> noticing if your body opens or not. Just soy ecologically, <laughs> you should probably be vegan. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> All right. Nikki said, wait, sorry. Hang on a sec. Do you guys feed your adorable cat to dry food or veggies and things? We feed a mixture of dry food and wet food. Um... No veggies. Sometimes we feed the uh, pumpkin. Olivia loves uh, sweet potato sweet and potato pumpkin. pumpkin. Yeah, yeah. Um, but we've been brushing their teeth. Uh, yeah, every day. Oh well, no, not every day anymore. Olivia, Olivia has some bad um, tartar, so we've been brushing her. Yeah. And it's getting better. Exactly. Um, Sky said you and Nikki were going on the show tomorrow. Ah, uh, no, we're going on Sunday. Yeah. Oh, for you guys, that's tomorrow. Mm. Yes, we are doing that. We're doing but for it. us, that's Sunday. 
right? Mm-hmm. I don't know, actually. I don't double check that. Thanks. <clears throat> All right, so moving on, Eckhart, what shit you got? Ego. The ego lives from that sense of insufficiency, of not enough, and of needing more. And for some people, that bec- comes into the physical realm, in which case then you eat more than the body really needs or wants. Mm-hmm. And again, it's, it's a spiritual dilemma. It can only be really ultimately transcended if you realize that you are not that needy entity that says, I need more. I need so body awareness needs. helps a lot in mm. food choice. And then it's up to you what it is that you feel. And you will know that you will not be in a dilemma. You will There's a dilemma, bro. This, this whole thing you've said is everyone is going to be like, I still don't know what the fuck to do. Yeah. I'm going to look at food and feel my body opening up. It's like cheese. Mm, body opening. What does this <laughs> mean, bro? These are not I practical really steps. I need to see a video of you in a supermarket. Yeah, and opening see your this, body. Yeah, I want to see what happens when your body opens. <laughs> Fucking, well, I don't know. We need more of a... He's we saying a lot without saying much. We need to go he to is. one of his Q&A and... Dominate. Dominate. Destroy. <laughs> Make him regret he ever talks shit like this. <laughs> All right, there's only a little bit to go. So maybe he's going to finish strong. Yeah, let's see. Let's All right, because I haven't watched this video for like years. Yeah, I watched once that we Yeah. We read, We read. had a reaction very similar and then I forgot. So let's see. All right. Come on, Eckhart. You have like... 30 seconds to wow us or we're burning your books we'll know what is right for you and so this is all important answers need to come from within you oh that was bad that was bad I thought it was gonna have something yeah zero stars zero stars or minus no minus minus a thousand minus a thousand stars that was ridiculous. Olivia, come in here. which in which uh, in reality Russia. is this guy? <laughs> Olivia. <Hello. sighs> All right, so that was ridiculous. Let me clean your beautiful eyes. Um. Yes. Okay. Okay. Let let's go be back seen. here. There she is. All right, so. Zero minus a thousand stars. That was really How stupid. many stars would you give to Arka? Like that was the most ridiculous question. If someone said to me, "What do you think of a himza and food?" Do you have anything to say about that? I'd say, "Yeah, food from a slaughterhouse is not a himza. It's really cruel and violent, and you shouldn't eat any of it. Eat plants because plants don't feel pain or suffer. That is perfectly a himza." Boom, 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 done. So easy. But four he minutes eat, of blah blah. He eats animals, so exactly. he can't say that. We can't expect hypocrites to not be hypocrites. <coughs> But, but look, I want to say this as well. Eckhart has a great teaching about meditation and, yeah. and living a meditation kind of vibe. Like, that, you know, you're not, not just about sitting down and meditating. He teaches you how to live it, yeah. you know? It's great. It's great. His books are great. I love them. A couple of things in there are a bit weird, but mostly they're great. Yeah, I think they are excellent. On this topic, minus a thousand stars. Yeah. Minus a thousand stars. So imagine Mission make a Eckhart vegan. Imagine if he was just like, yes, at my level of enlightenment, it is very clear that we should not be eating animals. They but are. I still eat. And no, no, I'm and I don't eat. No, I, but maybe he's like, you know, I'm still. Fuck that. <laughs> no, that's stupid. No, but what if he, you know, he understands, but he's not there yet. That's he stupid. could He could admit. I don't he could give the right answer, even though he's not practicing. He, it, he, you know, too egoic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Too egoic, but Where he's not practicing see? it, so that's not even reality. You know what yeah, I mean? I don't know. Don't I know. It's, I'm doing. sorry, disappointed. I really don't I, I know what he's doing. He's stupid. <laughs> but look, got a good teaching. Uh, Eckhart, if you ever watch this, maybe you're watching right now. Who knows? We love you, and please go vegan. Exactly, yeah. because you are cool, and cool people should be vegan, and you are not a massive loser animal abuser yeah. right 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 okay right all right so have you ever read the book conversations with god mm-hmm. 
we yeah. did two years ago. Yeah, I had, but then there was something, something I didn't like. Yeah, what was and it? And I abandoned. Remember? I think it was in the second book. I don't know if it was um, animal related or more like some god some tribute. trip thing. I don't remember, but I'm curious now mm. to know what happened. Know it was we something I really it. didn't like. Yeah, really. And I abandoned, yeah, the I wonder, second book. I wonder I if it was animal... <coughs> actually, I don't think it would have been animal related because if I remember correctly, it was very... A very it felt like a pro-vegan That was... A, yeah, the first book was... Sound very pro-vegan. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe it was something Meow. related to like... Um, how... Meow. What is God something. I don't remember. Yeah, right. Yeah. If, yeah. It was, um, I got through some of it, but I was going through a really tough time. And the last thing I needed to do was trip myself out on God. I had enough problems going on. <laughs> it's so disappointing when these wise, inspirational people aren't vegan. Also, I sent the tattoo pic on your IG. Let's okay, I'm going to check in a sec. It is so disappointing. <coughs> yes. Like, because I always think like, I figured this out, you know, me. I, I don't classify myself as a genius by any stretch of the means. These days, though, now that I've talked to so many people who've made me feel like a genius, I have a higher belief in myself and my intelligence. But, yeah, there's some people out there who are really intelligent who, shockingly, I haven't put two and two together on this one, even when it's explained. So it's nuts. But, yeah, anyway, that's people for you. Crazy, yeah. crazy. Um, all right, let's check out the tattoo. And let's see if you are still one of the biggest legends ever. <laughs> so if for anybody who missed what we're talking about, um, our vegan friend from Michigan. No, is it Michigan? Sorry, your vegan friend, Tonya. From Michigan, though, I think, got a tattoo of my autograph a while back. Years back. And here are the photos. All right, I'll, can I just scroll through? Can you see? So, that's us hanging out. It's so blurry. Yeah. Anyway, you get the picture. Boom. We chilling. Oh, shit. This is me drawing it on your skin. And there's the tattoo. Oh. That's sick. Yeah. This uh, nice thing graffiti piece. That's how I look. Wait, let me see if there's any other photos. Oh, hang on a second. Look at this. That's so cool. All right. There's... Can you see this shit? It's too... Yeah, it's kind of better now. My one is there. Why is not? I don't know. It's not good, but... She's also got TVC, that vegan couple, and... Vegan Jesus, a.k.a. Earthling Ed. <laughs> so... Yeah, that's so cool. That's mad, eh? Yeah. Uh, I can't... I can't... Here, I'll zoom a little bit. So, if anyone else wants me to autograph them and you get it tattooed <laughs> yeah we can make something happen we can work out a little deal no worries <laughs> all right yeah michigan i was right well respect i appreciate you still having that tattoo and you That's didn't so cool. you didn't get it removed <laughs> when any bullshit went around about me you're a legend <laughs> uh we got a oh we got a a tip chronic pain recover thank you so much for the tip you legend no judgment had a big problem with weed and was affecting me negatively in a variety of ways thought it helped me deal but made everything worse now six months straight edge hard you joke you were heard you joke you were addicted happy <laughs> for you if no problem but just wanted to share um thank you for sharing i appreciate you maybe trying to say something here to help me out i didn't do any drugs including weed including caffeine including paracetamol for 10 years so i'm very aware of the straight edge life and it's a good life i i think it's good but you know what else is a good life? <laughs> weed life. <laughs> I'm a big fan of smoking weed or just getting high from weed. And um, yeah, I love it. It's, it's good for so many things. It's good for so many things. I, I could go on and on about the many benefits that we enjoy from weed with none of the negatives that come with things like alcohol. So I am an activist for this shit. We are weed activists. Yeah. We want to promote this amazing medicinal fun plant that has many health benefits that if you you know if you're not just smoking 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 all the time mm -hmm. a joint a day pretty much harmless yeah. and um no hangover and make you happy good for pain help you sleep good for giving you an appetite helping you digest 
you know, et cetera, et cetera. And it's just fun to get high. That's my opinion. So yeah, when I, when I, you know, you said you heard me joke, I was addicted. Um, I don't remember if I joked that I was addicted. Maybe I said something in a certain way, but no, nah, there were times where I used to blaze back in the day quite a lot. Um, you know, and these days, you know, I used to sit around with homies and we would smoke bong after bong after bong after bong until all the weed was gone. Like it was crazy. That's crazy. It was so crazy. Yeah. These days we'll hit a joint, puff, 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 puff. I'm like, you want any more? Nah, should be good. And then boom, that's it. So we keep it pretty low key yeah. for the most part. And um, that works good for us. And we still live our lives and better. It's an upgrade of our life. That's why we blaze it. It's like, um, what's that dude? Seth fucking, what's that dude with the curly hair? Seth Rogen. Hmm. What an inspo this guy is. He said like, I don't need weed. You know, I don't need shoes, but it's really nice to have shoes when I want to go walking on uncomfortable shit. And weed is just like, makes everything better. <laughs> you know, pretty much. That's my opinion. Yeah. So I and, like blazing that shit. And we love to advocate for people to quit alcohol and yeah. smoke weed. Hell instead. yeah. Totally. What yeah. an upgrade. Alcohol is so shit. Um, all right, look who we got here, Jack Higgs. Boom, what's up, bro? How you doing? Respect, dude. Jack Higgs in the can house. We, can we blaze? I know, I was Audience literally just stuff? thinking about blazing. Yeah. I'll but can we blaze on YouTube? I don't know. Someone tell us, is this legal? Let's blaze hiding that. All right, I'm just gonna go get a drink and um, I'll be back in a second. Like, do this. Oh, yeah, thanks. <laughs> But what are you gonna do? I'm gonna fucking go. Bl no, go. place behind the. the no, no, bottom. no, I'm gonna fucking stand over there. I don't know what goes on on this platform. <laughs> okay, let's pretend he's not doing something that is not allowed. Uh, right. Okay, my but, turn. But you get out of here. Yeah, of course. <laughs> That's ridiculous. No, is it? That was just. just, it's just a, it, was it was incense. It was What's incense. The problem? I don't think there's any problem with this shit, but I don't know how YouTube feels about it. So, um, all right. <clears throat> I know what we got here. Anyway, that was Eckhart Tolle. What a, what a dummy. Oh, how good. Everyone's giving mad love to Jack. You and Tash, speaking about Jack, are truly amazing and brave what you do at the forefront of animal rights movement. They are legendary and... Very, very brave. Very courageous. Um, weed makes me mad anxious, even in small doses. I used to be like that too. That's actually part of the reason why I quit weed for 10 years. Um, but then in that 10 years, I learned the Vipassana meditation technique and what you need to do. At least this was my experience, but I, I think this is what most people who feel anxious when they blaze need to do. Because it's an intense feeling. It's like a, it's like a strong sensation that kind of feels, a, like you can react to it a bit like anxiety because it's, it can feel a bit overwhelming, you know, which is sort of how anxiety feels. So what you need to do, or what I would recommend, is um, just being by yourself, blaze a little, lie down on bed, and just feel the sensation. Kind of like what I was talking about, but this is actually good advice. Yeah. Like just feel that discomfort, that tension, that stress, that whatever, and just sit with it and just breathe because everything's okay and just sit with it and eventually it'll pass. For me, the first time I had weed after 10 years, I had a lot of anxiety, just like the last time I smoked before that, the, before I started um, having 10 years off. So the anxiety came back, I was like, oh right, this, this is so stressful. Wait a minute, I know Vipassana now. I, I know exactly what to do with sensations like this meditated I was uncomfortable for about an hour and then I never ever got anxious again from blazing so it was for sure the key you got to be yeah you got to if you're reacting badly to the feeling of weed yeah it's going to bring a lot of like overwhelming sensations um and because you're a little bit high you don't deal with them how you should deal with them you know because yeah. you, you're like not thinking properly I think uh, weed is for moments of relaxation, you know, for moments that you you are in a good headspace. 
Otherwise, if you are stressed and you're trying to do something that you don't usually do high and it, it demands your focus, of course, you're going to feel anxious because you are high and you won't be, you're not able to do the things like you do sober. So, yeah, mm. I think there's a time and place to smoke weed and you got to like... All day, every day. <laughs> you you got to learn how to, you know... Um, Prepare. No, how to um, how how do you feel high and which things you will be comfortable doing high? Mm. Otherwise, if you smoke and it's not a good time to be high, you're just gonna yeah, be like all stressed. School. You know? Yeah. So exactly. Yeah. And yeah. then over time, you get better at doing all the hard things high. Yeah. And then you can yeah. just run with it. Like boom, I can do anything high. Yeah. I do shit better when I'm high. <laughs> and there are levels to this yeah, game. Yeah, yeah, it goes deep. <laughs> Um, uh, where we at here? Seth Rogen needs to go vegan. He seems like the guy to totally get it. He's quite progressive, surprisingly. Hell yeah, you are so right. He does. He would be. That is right up his alley, you know. Um. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Where are we at here? Sorry, guys, got a bit lost in the chat. I think we've been through this already. No, no. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I think we missed some. Isn't there something to be said, though, about enjoying life sober? Yeah, there's something to be said about it. Boring. <laughs> no, like... <laughs> okay, if you don't ever want to do mushrooms, you don't ever want to do LSD, you don't ever want to get high again, blaze weed, you don't ever want to do anything ever, you just want to stay in this one perspective for the rest of your life yeah there's something to be said about it and feel free like but i prefer to mix it up a bit more yeah i think certain drugs like wheat mushrooms uh take you to another you know another dimension a great dimension <laughs> why wouldn't you want to visit from time to time it's yeah, very hilarious you know. over there you know for example you don't even need to go so deep if you smoke yes, some weed and, and watch um, Adventure Time, <laughs> it's hilarious because uh. you you go deep in the universe, the exist there, you know, a fiend, Jake, and it's amazing. I love doing that. <laughs> nice shout out to Adventure Time there. Yeah, I'm a big fan. We should watch an episode together. True. <laughs> should we do it now? Maybe. Let's we'll never get through it. We'll take us three hours to watch one 20 minute episode. <laughs> Yeah, it's the best. But yes, we should do it. Is that is that legal? I have no I idea how so. the rules... Really? We can uh, just watch Adventure Time together? Can we watch Adventure Time, guys? Like on Anyone YouTube? Else? I guess it's on YouTube, you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, so we probably could. It's a reaction. All right, it's a possibility. I don't know. It's like it's 2.20 in the morning here. <laughs> yeah, let's keep checking. Let's just chat. go through the chat until... Yeah, we'll go... We'll do go you still have first. Bitcoins or EWT? No, I don't have either of Bitcoin or EWT anymore. Um, yeah, no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Great to see you, man. Been ages, Eagles and Cycling. It's been ages. Do we know each other in real life? I don't recognize the username and I can't tell by the little um, logo, but maybe it's just been ages since you see me on YouTube. And yeah, it's been a while. <laughs> so great to see you too, mate. Thanks for checking in and joining us in the live stream. Appreciate it. I'm bro. grabbing a drink too. Grab a drink, <laughs> mate. Do general. what you got to do. But we would, we would recommend, <laughs> we would recommend, oh, you're going to blaze and drink. All right, cancels it out then. That's fine. In my country, Canada, weed is legal. Yeah, isn't yeah. every isn't even crack legal in Canada? I'm pretty sure. That's crazy. Yeah, like everything's legal in Canada. It was crazy when it just after it got legalized. I had a bunch of weed on me, and then I flew to another part of Canada with weed in my pocket on the plane. You know, and then I got off and I got off at the airport, and just at the side of the airport, like at the airport, you know, where there was a smoking section, there was a weed smoking section. So I got off the plane and with my joint and blazed <laughs> That's at crazy. the fucking airport at Canada. That's so uh, it surreal. Ass. Yeah, it was so... I was like, I'm really sweet just blazing a joint. <laughs> Good, this is how it's supposed to be. Why yeah. the hell was this ever a problem, people? Yeah. I've been to Holland as well. Ah, be careful about promoting it. It could be against terms of service. But it's legal. Like, as well, you know, that's bullshit. I don't know. Anyway, I'm not, I'm not saying... I'm not promoting it, actually. Let's We're just saying what we like about yeah, it, you know? Yeah, let's Probably. create... Um, do, do you people a uh, secret word for a weed okay what do you want to call it say uh, I don't know mm. 
Give us ideas in the chat. Let's call it cactus. Cactus. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we blazed that cactus shit. <laughs> um. Oh, hang on. I, I want to find that one I just lost. Whoa. How do we keep getting so lost in this chat? <laughs> <clears throat> no, go down. It's yeah. more. More down. No, no, no. Down. But hang on, hang on. Where, where are these ones? Yeah, Toronto, everywhere you walk, even on the subway. That's yeah, so cool. that's that's amazing. So, yeah. so is it very popular then? You know, do you feel like it's a lot more popular now that it's legal? I mean, must must be, you know, must be at, at least just in the public areas. I wonder if that's a lot a, more people have started blazing that. Thoughts on having children as vegans? Very good. Wait, just one second. <laughs> okay, yeah. Thoughts on having children as vegans? My wife and I are vegans for many years and have a little guy. Seems rare for vegans to want kids. Eagles and cycling, what's up? I never heard about being rare of vegans having kids. Have I would, you? I, I definitely haven't noticed that it is rare, but I think it's a bit more common that people don't want kids that are vegan. I would say, yeah, because, I'd say you know, I think they think a little bit more and they're a bit see, more aware of the world. You see how fucked the world is and you're like, I don't want to bring a kid here. Yeah, yeah, you're like, clim you're more aware of climate change, you're more aware that the earth is a cruel place. Yeah. And you um, are living already as a vegan in a non-vegan world, you're probably like a bit more frustrated yeah. by the world, you know, all that shit. At the same time, there are vegans that are like, I want more vegans, so I'm going to have a kid. Totally, I'm going to have a bunch of kids and they're all going to be vegan. Whoa! And, yeah, yeah <laughs> I think, um, you know, if vegans want to have kids, they should definitely have kids. I don't, I don't know why they would want that. No, nah, I know why they would, but like, <laughs> what I think about having kids is that people should really think more about it because I feel yeah. like a lot of people just have kids because they think it's the next thing on their to-do list mm -hmm. and they don't actually consider what life might be like without kids and maybe they prefer that. Maybe it would be nice to have a way less stressful, probably, life and pursue maybe some passions you've got that you wouldn't have the time to otherwise. Just as an example not have the stress of raising a kid in a very unpredictable world, yeah. um, you know, that is filled with a lot of horrible people and hor horrible things. Not everybody, of course, but, you know, horrible things happen to good people all the time. And, um, and also, it's a dangerous place. Also, people underestimate the amount of responsibility that having children is, you know. For sure. It's, it's so much responsibility and changes your whole world, you know, <laughs> your whole reality. <coughs> so yeah it's big so yeah so. but but do you think it's wrong that vegans have kids no i don't think it's wrong no. mm. oh, uh, yeah it would be beautiful if the world was vegan and people could be more happy about bringing their children in this world you know yeah like it's a good point you know if i if like the world was vegan and i wasn't just super aware of this massive holocaust that is quite depressing to know about among other things um and arguing with people in favor of animal abuse everywhere every day you know like if i if i wasn't going through those things and if there wasn't war going on and if there wasn't school shootings and if the world was a safer place um then and people were smarter then like because also yeah i mean i don't want to go too deep into things i think people do that's stupid but if the world, if people were more mature and more evolved and there was more mutual respect and and then we were set up better and, you know, like, would would having kids be something we'd be more interested in? We'd be more interested Look, in it. No, I... More I, interested. No, I... No, I never wanted to be a mom. Like, never. Mm, mm. No. Yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, when I was... Yeah, that's not really a, the question. Huh? Well, it's... I'm talking about me, like... No, no, go ahead. Like, go yeah, ahead. even if the world was vegan, I don't see myself being a mom, you know? It's just not for me. Yeah, oh, I agree with <laughs> you, but, like, I guess I'm just saying that it's really not for me, and it would be less not for me kind of thing if the world was just better. Like, a big a big part of... I have, like, it would that, be less? That, that, yeah, like, if the world was not different... More? If the world, no one, I think you're not understanding. I'm explaining. I'm lost. 
All right. All I'm trying to say is part of the reason why I don't want kids yeah. is because the world is a dangerous yeah. place that I just. But if I don't it was like a perfect the future, sport, then I don't know really because it's very much influencing my decision. Really? Mm, I mean, I don't really. You wh- you would like to be a dad. Well, the world would be a totally different place. So being a dad would be a very different experience. Yeah, but like, like what? Um, what would be different? Everything would be different. Like what? Like you're still gonna have to work and but, uh, nah, but like like and put your kids nah, in nah, school. Nah, nah, nah. Who knows? No, no, no. Listen, listen. No? Look, I'm thinking of a very different world. Uh. I'm thinking basically like utopia where work we don't really have to. We got things covered. Like children are raised differently because you don't have to worry about predators and shit. Like there's more freedom. There's more. Mm. I don't know. It's just don't know. Yeah, it's it's just totally bullshitting in my head. The, yeah. The bottom line is I don't think it's wrong for people to have kids at all. I think that go for it. Um, but be aware that, you know, if you raise children like you and for some many years of a lot of responsibility and stress probably and, you know, a lot of things. Um, so just give us some serious thought because maybe you don't want to do that and maybe you'll just be really happy living a more peaceful life and pursuing passions and focusing on causes that you're really passionate about that would otherwise you wouldn't have been able to dedicate so much time to you know there's other ways to live and i think a lot of people don't fully think about the the options they really do have and some people don't have options like they feel too pressured to have kids and um you know there's a lot of things all yeah so Mm -hmm. but yeah that's pretty much it you could go on and on about it but that's the answer to the question (laughs) have you watched conspiracy yeah we did (coughs) we did we watched conspiracy uh Long ago About already. Four months ago. Yeah. Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> um, it was. It was just a, a, not what we were expecting. Yeah. Like, yeah, you Honestly. explain. Well, it was when I spoke to Kip about it years ago, I thought when he said we're doing a documentary on religion, Christ spiracy, I was like, Wow, you're gonna go against religion, you're going to show the world that all these preachings of God's word and all these stories of what happened to Jesus and what happened to Moses and the prophet and what happened in all these 10,000 religions that exist over the years, you're going to go and like make show evidence that they're all bullshit. Wow. That's going to be amazing. I can't wait. That's going to be like the best documentary ever, you know? Because <laughs> that's how I feel. And I watched a documentary that did that for me once called Religious. It just like basically showed how lacking evidence these huge claims are that religions make. And it's really silly to believe in things based on faith, which means based on lack of evidence. That's not a smart way to make decisions about anything, especially the foundations of your life and ethics and things like that. Um, but no, the documentary is not about that. <laughs> but please, someone make that. But it is about... This is great. I love... It, it uses the story of religion. It goes back in history, you know, and it uses religion to make a case for animal rights, to put it in one sentence. Mm-hmm. But it's full of information and... Um, I'm very interested to see how people will react to it, you mm. know, religious people. And... Yeah, I thought it was it was a good movie, and I think it will will make a lot of people think, you know, because um, when it comes to religion, religious people they're not used to question much, mm-hmm. <coughs> and this documentary does exactly that to question the story, you know, and question like something that is so big, which is Jesus and what he believed and you know, was his story, you know. People care so much about Jesus and his story and what he did, you know, what he thinks, what he would do, and this movie is all about that, all about what Jesus would do in in the case of um, killing an animal. And according (coughs) to them also, what he did do, you know, if you (coughs) believe what they believe, it's what he did do is also a very interesting part of the story so yeah it makes it 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 puts like in the center a discussion that should be like so obvious already about jesus if he's a good guy 
he should be an animal lover, not animal abuser, you know? Yeah. Like, and it would be so interesting if this can come to my family soon. And because my family is very religious, Catholic, not my parents, but like my grandma and my uncle and aunts. And so it would be very interesting if I can soon have a discussion about who Jesus really was. <laughs> totally. <coughs> um, oh, yeah, we were just debating about having kids and stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that's a dangerous world, so... Um, I think Oliver is hungry. Oh, yeah? You want to maybe feed her and I'll just smash her like this and say goodbye or something? 2 a.m. hungry. 3 a.m. almost. No, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm 2 a.m. hungry. Okay, yeah, yeah, no worries, no worries. I'll, I'll take my time here. Just us now, peeps. Let's get through some more of these questions. Our cat is so cute. Yeah, our cat... Oh, the cutest cats ever. Our cats are so special. Uh, like, I am so in love with them. So in love with them. Every time I look at them, I'm just like, you are the cutest, best thing in the world. <laughs> They're fucking so adorable. Um, all right, what we got here? Yeah, Bill Mayer is Jewish, the guy who created the documentary Religious. Yeah, he is. I think, though, like, there's a lot of Jewish people who would just say they're Jewish to be part of kind of the Jewish family, but don't necessarily believe uh, the Jewish faith. You know, that is my experience with quite a few Jewish people now. Did you guys grow up in a religious household? Um my wife did i think i'll let her tell the story but yeah she did um not bad like not very deeply deeply religious but they went to church and all that and i went to church from time to time to a christian or catholic church i went to a catholic school for the first two years of my life it was crazy and uh yeah so we went and we'd go and i'd listen about god and i was always just so bored listening to all this shit not understanding shit and then like doing prayers and fuck it was so annoying I hated going to church I used to just always look around and me and my mate would just like talk shit about people <laughs> like look how shiny that bald guy's head is I remember this one dude with the real shiny head so yeah I don't know we um I never I never believed it eh and then and then though in my later years after some pretty trippy experiences I questioned God and you know my thoughts on God now are I don't know. I actually lean towards that there's what, what people describe as God. I think there is something like that that has some sort of power over the universe in a way that, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it really. I could try, but I couldn't really be bothered at this time. But, um, but that aside, you know, because I'm not convinced necessarily either way, but. I do think there's something guiding out there. I've just had way too many experiences to think that I was just tripping every time. Um, yeah, I think there's something, you know. I, ver- I, I say, I, I'd say, yeah, I sh- kind of strongly think that. Um, I feel like I've been touched by it many times, you know. So there's that. And also, I could just be tripping, so I'm also open to that possibility. But that aside, religion, nah, uh-uh. Uh, 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 not at all absolutely not to think that you have these stories like just the reasons to believe it is just crazy you know like people will believe that there was a virgin birth of a guy who walked on water who turned water into wine who healed people with like his touch or whatever who died and came back to life three days later you legend i was so hungry if you believe those stories just because someone up the front of a church said it then you will believe anything you know what i mean you will believe anything huh emo kids um i don't know i don't know i don't we weren't talking about emo someone just asked if you grew up in a if we grew up in a religious household so let me just finish my story (laughs) so no not really i went to this school but we weren't religious we went to church i think they were just trying to get a bit of community my mum and dad or you know just make sure we had good morals or something and um then we just stopped going to church and i never 
when when people I did like at school if you if you were a church person sometimes you would be able to get out of like maths class or something and I would always be like yeah I'm a church person and then I would just go and not work because I didn't want to do maths or whatever but nah never yeah that was it we, would you say you grew up in a religious household me? no Actually, no. Oh, okay, so it was before your dad. So um, my dad, when he was um, less than 20. Um, oh, is that young? Yeah, he used mm. to work um, for the church as a, what's the name? When he ha- like, helps the priest. Yeah. You know, and my, my grandma is very religious, Catholic. And it was her dream that my dad uh, become a priest. And he was going to. But then, but then something changed. Ah. Go ahead. Uh, sweet potato with um, soy cream cheese. Heck you soy. Heck you soy. Um, and so my, my grandma wanted him to become a priest. And, but then he started a university, you know, philosophy and this type of thing. Started question and things and went completely um, non-believer in God. <laughs> go when uh, a taste and then so he raised me and my brother uh, without any religious influence at all mm. and but my my grandma uh, used to take me to the church with her <laughs> and um, in school I used to have uh, religious friends as well so went to their church as well but he never touched me never connected with me you know this whole religious thing jesus never entered you no no unlucky for jesus <laughs> super chat by slippery man bean thank you thank you so much slippery man bean what a name can you name the cactus behind you bean <laughs> no <laughs> absolutely not bro i can't name a single cactus <laughs> except for peyote yeah <laughs> Mm. And San Pedro. <laughs> what is it? Do you know? Mm. Please tell us and we'll give you your $2 back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a white one. Mm. Sweet potatoes. The white ones. I special. They taste like cake. So yummy. All right, what are we doing here? People still talking about having kids. Yeah, I love it. Don't do it, guys. We are so lost with this. We need a better looking at our chat mm-hmm. system. So where are you right now, James? We are at in our house. Mm, Wait, um, let, let hang on, hang on, hang on. What? Yeah, okay, do it. Sometimes OBS disconnects. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, ah, really? Yeah. So uh, James uh, doing Portuguese. He's doing better. Yeah, that's for sure. He's uh, risking more to say phrases, and I admire because, like, um, as a um, Portuguese speaker, uh, I lived in Italy, and Italian is very similar to Portuguese in a lot of, you know, ways, like the structure of the language and stuff. And for me to say things in, in Italian, it was so hard, you know, you know, like release the phrases. Mm. <laughs> and you know form phrases and yeah I admire you for really? trying and doing because you never had any like teacher teaching you it was just me and YouTube videos mm. so yeah I think you mm. I think you're smart I'm getting that I want to get good but I've, we've been bi- no, people are like you haven't been busy why because you didn't post on Instagram we're too busy for Instagram <laughs> we've been busy but um, now we're getting more organized and I think that um, I'll be able to start focusing on Portuguese way more soon, which is going to be so epic because it sucks. Like we go, I can't speak to, Nikki's brother speaks English um, and I, you know, translate and say a few things that I can say with her mum and dad, but it'd be way better if I could speak better Portuguese. And then we go to the raves. I mean, all these fucking legends but everything got to be translated through Nikki and like she don't want to be translated That's we're trying to enjoy the party she's got a whole job at the rave I translate all the jokes you know all the 
Oh, no, slangs. Yeah. Oh, no, what, you know. Say this, say that. <laughs> Tell him this. It's so this funny. This is a job. <laughs> <laughs> I have fun. Yeah. I'm used to it. It's good. <laughs> anyway, but, um, yeah. Mm. It's, going all right. it's going all right. It could be better. <laughs> um, <clears throat> where are we at here? Oh, that's some, a good question I want to get to soon. Which one? Oh, it was, um... Fucking where'd it go? Damn. I don't know where it went. Was something about street actors? Oh. Mm, that's a good question. Yeah. James asked me, do you recall your first street outreach experience? I think my first... I I think I I remember my first anonymous for the voiceless experience. I don't know if it was my first street outreach. I'm pretty sure I did like a cupcake. I don't know. That was first. So I did a cupcake challenge thing, right? There was a university having an open day. So there was stalls everywhere. Students everywhere was packed. And it was like a big kind of party day kind of thing. And um, we were giving cupcakes to people vegan cupcakes to watch a video. I think the video we were showing was A Thousand Eyes, which is a, a short video by Chris Delfors, who um, made Dominion. And yeah, it was awesome because we had so many people. I was like very positive with it and um, had some good conversations and didn't get too much bullshit. And I think it was actually a really, really productive day because it was per- person after person after person. We're giving away cupcakes. It wasn't like anonymous for the voiceless where you got to a lot of time drag a conversation out of somebody that stopped to watch the violence already. Mm. You know? So yeah, it was really good and yeah, I've I've you know, I've never had a bad experience out there actually. Like it's always it's always you leave and you're just like, Whoa, that was meaningful, you know? There was there's always something good there. So it's really, really cool stuff, yeah. People are discussing a lot of things here. A lot um, of Kerry said, my kids... Oh, I don't know if you're talking to us, Kerry. No, probably Oh, no, she's not. Sorry, you're not. I was about to say, we ain't saying that your kids are, like, depressed or something. No. We're all for it. Like, I hope they're stoked. Uh, <clears throat> uh, let's react to the other video. No, nah, I can't oh, be bothered one? anymore. Let's just smash through this stuff if there's I still something here. It. People are... Um, oh, yeah? Okay. Yeah, just having a chat. All right, well... Yeah. More questions for us, guys. Well, you want to... It's been gone for like two and a half hours. Maybe oh, we should so just bounce. Go. You want to? Maybe we yeah. keep going. You, it's like almost 3 a.m., so I don't know, up to you. I'm cool. You cool? You want to chat a bit longer? I... Anything. Okay, so we can watch this video then. We can watch this ridiculous bullshit. It'll be funny, funny way to finish. Okay. Mmm... <laughs> 32 people. Let's do this. Alright, that's it. <coughs> so, guys. Excuse me while I eat. <laughs> um, We're gonna watch, um... Do you guys know that guy, um, Awaken with JP? He got, like, red hair, muscular dude, redhead skin, you know, like, white, bit red skin. And, um... Where's he from? He's from the USA. Anyway, he does like skit videos. And he did a skit video with none other than the liver king. Yes, the liver king. The internet's biggest liar. Where is the... Oh, sorry, this one. Hmm. Yeah. All right. So let's watch it. It's... I saw it. I actually haven't seen the YouTube version. I just saw a short version on, um, I just saw a short version on IG. All right. We're going to do this shit. I don't know if I watch this. You, I didn't send it to you at all? Maybe I did. Yeah, I probably did. On IG as well. I was going to say I probably didn't send it to you because it was pretty stupid. But it's just something funny to react to, so. Let's see if I will find funny. Okay. 
Let's do it. All right. <laughs> what is this guy doing already? This is great. I love okay. well, it. Your, your oh, yeah. <laughs> I swear this is not because we drank that water earlier. <laughs> is it on? Yeah, it can't be. Ready? Boy, yeah. This is great. I love vegan cuisine. Having my stomach filled with undigestible cellulose makes me feel like I'm not still hungry. Yeah, satisfying yourself with malnourishment is the key to being jacked. But I have a question for you, and I'm sorry to be so skeptical, but are you sure you're a vegan yeah it's just that most vegans have more muscle than you i mean you kind of look like one of those skinny sickly malnourished meat eaters i'm already aware of that cool sorry i doubted you man yeah don't worry about it it's water under the bridge hey how'd you become a vegan i got infected with veganism about 10 years ago i knew it was going around but thought it could never happen to me but then i ended up catching it from a guy named kevin that's beautiful we were having an unprotected meal together and you're right it was beautiful no regrets hey try some of this because the tofu is so repulsive my liver king chef has gone through great lengths to make it taste exactly like meat because i hate meat so much well that makes sense what a bunch of nonsense <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> that we're watching this <laughs> i am i should have watched the video Same first man being. <laughs> it is an infection and there's no cure yeah yesterday in the live uh, vegan game said about the vegan religion what about it? Infected with the... Ah. What's the name? Vegan... Um, you made the name up. No, it wasn't me. I was just uh, saying someone else comment. Oh. It was... Um, um, vegan C? No, ve veg <laughs> Veganology? <laughs> Something like that. Uh, yeah, I think it was veganology, yeah. maybe. Vegantology. Vegantology, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, can you explain what's going on? Not really, because <laughs> these guys are pretending they're vegan and, yeah. and talking shit about meat eaters. And then this guy, the liver king, the world's biggest liar, yeah, has just said, here, try my tofu. But because tofu is so shit, I got my chef to make yeah. it look like meat yeah. that I don't like. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like we do, we make delicious delicious meat out of tofu <laughs> instead of out of dead bodies but that's not exactly that's what we the do. Dumb thing to do we appreciate yeah. tofu for what it is tofu, tofu is, is awesome. delicious hell yeah we had heaps tofu today is the best look at that ridiculous plain tofu yeah Who like does that i mean boy you didn't enjoy that plain <laughs> wet block of tofu guys crazy have you ever heard of fire maybe you should have used some of it to cook it you know and guys usually the greens you blend in your smoothie hello yeah, it's like i got no idea how to <laughs> vegan they, they said they've been vegan 10 years but it looks like day one to me like liver king no being nutty <laughs> <laughs> all right let's go so what is it tofurkey i love tofurkey mm. wait i just want to say a little shout out shout out to tofurkey i love him T shout out to seth the master of tofurkey. I went to the... He helped... The he, farm. No, to the... Um, yeah, yeah <laughs> to, the, to the factory farm. <laughs> yeah, it was crazy in there. Um, no, nah, it was a mad joint. It was so clean and... It was, it was making tempeh, actually, in that mm. place, I think. No, no, it was, it was, it was making tofurkey as well. I miss tempeh so much. Yeah, mm. me too. At least we've got tofu. He is a tempeh addicted. Oh, I um, now yeah, tempeh. Was maybe so not good. addicted because you survive from without it. I'm not actually. I'm struggling every day. <laughs> I'm missing it. Why is he not? Why you not got tempeh here? Mm -hmm. Because it's not, it's not Indonesia. Yeah, <laughs> that Indonesia. You guys don't know how lucky you are. Mm -hmm. No, they know. They know. They do know. Mm. Damn them. Uh all right, let's keep bouncing. You talk about bringing diversity to your diet. I used to be a plant, but now I identify as meat. I love tofurkey. I always strongly advocate eating your pretend meat nose to tail. Why do you do that? Using every inch of this highly processed food with 29 ingredients that aren't found anywhere in nature oh helps you to live in harmony 
with nature. It's how our ancestors would have done it. This is so good. And to think there's murderous meat eaters out there killing and eating innocent turkeys instead of eating tofurkey. You know what? Exactly. They can go. This guy. <laughs> he got it. This is what I wrote on their Instagram caption. I was like, you guys just scored a home goal. Yeah, not even Ekato said something like that, you know? Yeah, you guys just <laughs> made yourselves, the real yous, look Stupid. <laughs> Mad. I didn't even have to do anything. I just clapped. <laughs> Go to f themselves. Exactly. That was funny. To f themselves. <laughs> I've never heard anyone say that before. The fuck you should use that as a advertising. To fuck yourself. To fuck eaters. yourself. You got the good shit. <laughs> <laughs> That's sick. I'm going to mess with you. And I love these eco-friendly plates. And they come wrapped in plastic to make a real difference to the environment. I hate all the idiots that can't see that. And this too fucking whatever it is has just as much protein as the real thing. As long as you don't do the math, which I don't do. Plus, this has amazing nutrients that meat doesn't. Yeah, did you know that one serving alone has more estrogens in it than you should eat in your entire lifetime? Whoa! You mean phytoestrogens that don't oh at all God. work like normal estrogen? Let's talk about the steroids you take. Yeah, you what about those liar. hormones? Yeah, you fucking clown. Talking shit for years, telling everyone when you looked ridiculous, you had $10,000 worth of gear in your body every month, telling people you were natty, asking, being asked directly, no, I'm natural. This is just from my ancestral diet. What a fucking liar. You should be in jail, bro. What a fucking liar. Full of shit. How, how, do, you, how do you lie to a million people like that just to their face? Mm -hmm. Like, you know, just, just what I mean, not to their face, but staring in the camera and being like, nah, nah, nah. When you look like a rhinoceros, you look <laughs> ridiculous. That guy that was, was so compliment. crazy. It was a compliment. I take it back. <laughs> he looked fucking massive. And also, like, he was about to have a heart attack any second. <laughs> and then he he um, he um got emails leaked or something. Yeah. And everybody found out he was bullshitting. And then he's like, sorry, I was bullshitting. <laughs> like, but I'm here now to be honest. Yeah, but because you got caught, you dummy. You wouldn't have been honest if you could have just kept keeping up the straight and selling your supplements saying, this is why I'm massive because of these powdered liver tablets <laughs> not the ten thousand dollars worth of fucking steroids go you should go to jail for that shit yeah that's so retarded yeah. that's like giving all these people this false idea of what's possible with their natural bodies making them feel like shit because they can't achieve it selling supplements under false pretenses you know just like it got to be illegal to lie like yeah. that it's He's a ah, fucking shit person. But the same with the meat industry saying that the cows are happy, the chickens, you know. There's yeah. no gas chambers and things like that. Yep, exactly. Also full of shit. Yeah, and it's completely legal, looks like. Um, Alright, let's go. Let's smash through this shit. Oh, this will help strengthen your ovaries. It feels like they're already getting bigger. I might be bleeding. This is man food. Yeah, man food. There's more estrogen. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure there's more estrogen in like this. Is it estrogen in steak? We're about to find out. Let's look. That in meat. In eggs. Let's just say in meat. There is. Yes, there is estrogen in meat. Is there estrogen? There's not estrogen in tofu. There's just phytoestrogen in tofu. Eggs. Um, estrogen in eggs. What a dummy. That's what I'm saying. Home goals. Products like eggs or milk contain high estrogen levels. Yeah. You morons. You're so stupid. Oh, my God. It's embarrassing. Yeah, it's the meat I'm embarrassed for our species. With, with the same bullshit they always say. Saying, oh, soy and strogens yeah. are going to have beer. But like, Ugh. haven't these guys got interested in health enough to be like, is eating dead bodies actually healthy or not? 
you know? Like, oh, they just, they just want to eat their bodies. On the same propaganda, reading the same um, bot studies. But yeah. how? You know, like, they know vegans exist. There's plenty of ripped, strong vegans out there looking better than these guys. You know, so... Yeah, but they don't realize that... What are they thinking that is happening there? No, it's just because they are too addicted to eating yeah, meat. And exactly. they don't want to see what the animals, you know, what's going on with the animals. Yeah, they don't give a and fuck. That's yeah, the problem. And then they end up like that. Like Fucking haters. Fucking idiots. Yeah, they got to hate on it. Otherwise, because you know, they can't really ignore it. So they got to do something. Yeah. Um. Let's keep watching. I feel this compulsion to read everyone's stuff. Mm. Mm -mm. But, all right, let's go. Compulsion. Do I have any experience with Kratom? No. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. I have kilos of experience with Kratom. <laughs> <laughs> Food. Yeah, this is real man food. Yeah, th this is what Bill Gates wants real men like us to eat. Eat like a man. Yeah. Do you have any oat milk? No. My oats are out grazing in the pasture like milk producing mammals are supposed to. So I haven't been able to milk them yet today. <sighs> That's disappointing. Do you know what I've been thinking? If only Hannibal Lecter could have been a vegan. I was just thinking that. Right? Are you a Leo? No, B12 deficient. Me too! So yeah, yeah. if Hannibal Lecter well, would have been a vegan, he wouldn't have had to kill and eat all his friends and family. He could have just congealed tofu together into fake friends and family and then killed and ate that. Tofu! Now he's making scrambled tofu. <laughs> this guy actually knows. Good work, keep it up, add some turmeric. Only, I was just thinking that. And Hannibal Lecter would have been healthier in the process. But I will say, while I am completely against eating meat, I'm not necessarily not on board with cannibalism. Same. I've been doing some thinking about the vegan tenets that are important to live by. I have a few so far. You wanna hear them? I'm guessing they'll validate my unwillingness to consider anything other than my current dietary dogma, so I would love to hear them. Okay. The first vegan tenant is sleep. Done! I'm always sleepy. Not having any B12 is helpful with it. Second vegan tenant, eat. Eat in a way that's in alignment with other animal species that only eat plants. That's how humans are designed to eat. Okay, the third yeah. vegan tenant is, what, what the hell is that? That's my cat. That's a weird looking cat. Well, I made him out of a pineapple. He's a good cat. <laughs> I'm allergic. Okay, third vegan tenant, move like our ancestors. You know how they were always moving around, using spears and axes, hunting animals for food? Yep. So we should move in completely different ways so we can be in alignment with their ancestral past. Yeah, definitely move like you're hunting because it's natural to do so, but definitely don't hunt because it would be unnatural to do so. Fourth vegan tenant, Shield from so danger. That's what a, kind of danger? So Assume that. Blow, what the hell that's a, you know, imagine you with Dan in the comment session and you're like being so um, logical and just speaking facts, and the guy's so lost in his like excuses that he's not even listening to you. So it's just like a, a word salad and it's just this craziness. <sighs> this is yeah. their head completely yeah lost you yeah. know to waste your time and our time to do a video like that instead of being helping the animals and speaking up for them it's just mm. just shows their character yeah i mean it does because these are guys with influence yeah you know they, they look like strong men and yet they prey on the defenseless vulnerable yeah. innocent male and female animals babies most of them yes all of them children yeah you know like all in their infancy yeah. and that thinking is they're not so special so tough so they're so proud of yeah. it so proud of being animal abusers so proud of causing all this suffering so proud of ripping these families apart so proud of ruining these these beautiful creatures lives like how how stupid is that? While making fun of it. Yeah, while laughing about and joking about the only people that are trying to end 
all this cruelty. Yeah. And it's only happening because of people like them. Shame on you, disgusting Shame on you, you guys. fucking idiots. That's it. I don't even want to watch anymore. All right, fuck stupid. these guys. Yeah, let's bail. It is actually really stupid. I thought the short version was a little bit more punchy and funny. What are you doing? Oh, sorry, I was Go checking back. my shit out. What do you want me to do? Full screen. Oh, yeah, full screen. Oh, I guess I should check my <laughs> my notifications on my own time, eh? <laughs> look, no, nah, no. Nah, let's show the people. No. This. no, let's look at the bullshit I have to deal with. Wait, what was it? Just read. No, nah, I'm going to show the people. <laughs> Boom. All right. <laughs> notifications. Oh, he's not going to be able to see this anyway. It says, James Aspie, I and four other people all went to Texas Roadhouse tonight. We are all, we all are well, plenty of steak and vegetables. And did I mention great appetizers? Hope you enjoyed your probably something stupid like grass. Let's see if I'm right. (laughs) Where the fuck is it? Mm. everything is anyway i don't know <laughs> but yeah dudes be dudes you know just what are you I, doing I, I don't know what i'm doing there we go dudes be always in my dm <laughs> yeah, talking bullshit here. what do you mean we're let's all friends check your, let's oh check yeah are we tight hey right, now now you've been let into my into my dm world so i feel like we'd be close to now kerry oh. <laughs> okay. Nothing to see there, don't worry. Should we go to sleep? We should go to sleep. We should blaze and then go to sleep. Yeah. Um, all right, well, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. <sighs> Did you have fun? I had so much fun. Did you? Yeah. This is like a, a fun, different date. Yeah, it's a date. It was a date Beautiful. and you were all invited. <laughs> we all had a date together. Thanks for coming, everyone. Yeah, thanks, thanks for joining us. We appreciate thanks all your attendance. Thanks for the good attendance. vibes. I hope um, if you're a meat eater, you didn't think we talked too much shit. Because really, we love you guys and think so much of you guys. And that is why we think you should be vegan. You we are I mean? here just wanting you to change. Yeah. We wanting you to evolve. Yeah, it's just evolve. To, you know, open your body. Yeah, like open, a, your body, open your body. Open your body. Open your body to veganism yeah open your body t- yeah. to veganism to love and animals. you will not regret it and neither uh, yeah it's crazy you know? it's so crazy yeah but uh oh okay people saying good night and stuff yeah um they enjoyed i'm um, we will do another sometime soon 100 percent. i plan to be doing live streams a lot coming up i'm set up now you know so i can just do it it's been a bitch to set up and get to this point Send us ideas of, you know, things we could talk in the live, questions you have, things, yeah. things to react. Yeah, send us stuff you want us to react to. That would help us out and um, give us something to do while we're on here. Yeah. Okay, and famous gig, special goodbye to you, mate. <laughs> all right, so we appreciate it, guys. It was nice to hang out and um, hear from you all. I read some really cool stuff tonight. And to the new people, nice to meet you. And we see you next stream. See you. Good day, good night.